tell you what, these allergies better figure themselves out in the next couple of weeks. I'm not going to have it otherwise. <laughs> it's been raining in Arizona and uh, all over my property. It's just been dropping the pollen. So there's yellow everywhere on the ground. Nice. The weeds are just unstoppable. <laughs> yeah, they are. I'm just going super sane with the amount of rain. Like, Arizona and California have been in a drought for like the past five years. That's fixed now. <laughs> uh, I think California will be good for a while, especially with like <laughs> mammoth and all that melts off. Up there with freaking 800 inches of snow? No thanks. Oh, yeah. Well, one of my old bosses was convinced in like 10, wars, there's 10 years there's going to be a civil war over water rights on the West Coast. And I don't think that's going to happen anymore. I don't <laughs> think his... And it's not even like one of those like, oh, political differences. Like, no, the states are just going to fight over water. Like some Mad Max shit. I mean, that's not the craziest theory to have. In yeah, no, opinion. it's not. But all this rain has helped. <laughs> so hopefully we don't have Mad Max. What's happening, everybody? Hello. I'm doing so everything I can to save my voice. Oh no, what's going on? Allergies. Oof. Oh no. Summer, where are you? Uh in Oklahoma. Oh yeah. shit. Okay. Well, I've, I've been here since last week. I wasn't sure. That's all I was I asking. Didn't know. I am. I, I unfortunately still don't have Wi-Fi, but I have mobile data. So. Oh, you sound better. <laughs> awesome. Did I sound terrible last week? I didn't watch the VOD. <laughs> no, it's just like kind of quiet. Do you have Roll20 now? No. Okay. Unless Roll20 magically made an app that works well. No, no, they didn't. No. No, didn't they didn't. just <laughs> release a new one, though. <laughs> Did, Did they? they? Yeah, I think they just released a companion app that actually <laughs> does stuff. That's cool. We pay them enough money. Right? <laughs> yeah. But then again, I also give wizards a lot of money. And... Yeah, how's that going? You know... Pros First. and cons. You, you don't, it, it doesn't bode well for wizards when they make Chris Perkins come back on camera. Did Did you guys see the acquisitions incorporated game at PAX? No. no. Yeah, they. It was uh, yesterday. I think it came out, but they had to bring Chris Perkins back to DM because I think they're having bad PR. <laughs> oh, with Jeremy Crawford. Mm-hmm. What's what's wrong with Jeremy? What did he do? No, I think they're just trying to curb any bad press that they've been getting by bringing back a fan favorite. Oh, uh, maybe it's I'm... it's interesting because like right now they're doing so much to monetize the D and D movie and stuff. Like it's hard to know like what isn't advertising. You know what I mean? I, they're trying to overhype it to sell the studio, aren't they? So what? Hasbro is selling the movie studio. Oh, that might be. Yeah, they're they're they're, they're trying to pump it up as big as possible to inflate the numbers so they could <laughs> ditch it. Well, I mean, Hasbro explicitly told um, Watsy that they were not monetizing D and D very well. Yeah, I, is... I I saw that fireside chat. That was great. yeah. But then again, they also have they've shown that what they're doing with magic is causing a big dip in that. So I don't know. It's like magic is one of the most popular th It's at it's one of its most popular points. And yet they're losing people because they're printing too many cards. Yeah. I mean, it's what a quarterly cycle. They're, the problem is is that they're doing like all the commander products and they're doing other supplemental products and they have the main sets and like they print oh, a right. shitload of cards these days like 
Yeah, and, yeah, and then they have the the, the what is it the the crack packs where you or what what do they call them where you buy a, a a box of boosters from them and it's so you can have matches or whatever for Friday night fights or whatever it's called. What? I thought they were designing a pack where like it was like doing a draft, but it, um, they were doing a draft pack or something. I don't know if Blizzard does. I've seen game stores sell packs by themselves when the pandemic hit because they couldn't host so they'd like come in buy a pack host with your buddies and they'd yeah. give you enough packs plus uh, a prize for whoever won yeah i thought they were trying to sell draft stuff like not just the uh draft promos but like actual uh, you know full product draft kits or whatever well they've always <clears throat> sold those oh okay yeah the, the draft thought it was packs anything. No, the draft packs are the O. Oh, that's what packs are. Are draft packs? There's 15 cards in them. What the new thing is is called a set booster, and that is like where you get like a guaranteed foil rare and like other things like that. Oh, and you get gotcha. like, and then there's the collectors boosters, and so it's like the draft boosters are the OG, like magic, you know, packs, and then the collectors set collector's sets and the dra uh, and the boost or the whatever they're called the set boosters it's are the new things. things see and that's the problem even me somebody who is so invested in magic can't keep up with this bullshit and then you got the the master sets product. too right those come out every once in a while the master sets yeah and those are usually some of the better things that they do in my opinion um, but you know, it's still like there's still so much, you know. So I wouldn't expect somebody who was new to magic to be able to keep up. How people old with magic can't keep up. And that's what I mean, right? <laughs> like shit. But you know. Like I've been playing magic for 13 years i walk into the game store i have no idea what the packs are anymore or the sets or what's fucking going on i just literally look at them like hey describe the sets for me what's got the what's like the modern uh masters and they'll point at the eight dollar pack and i'll buy the eight dollar pack and then go open it like cool cards and i wish it was only eight dollars shit's like 10 something now Oh no! Really? <laughs> yeah, dude, it's ridiculous. They raised all the prices. I know Games Workshop just raised all their prices too. Yeah, everyone is. Uh do 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 do. Is everyone here? No, Ben's ben. not here. Okay. <laughs> the marvelous Mister Alistair. Well, does somebody want to catch Tasha up on all the fun? Of the last two Strixhaven sessions that she missed? You guys did two? You guys did back-to-back -back Strixhaven? Yeah. Yep. And then we did Pirates last week. But you were here for that. I was. Fucking Chad. <laughs> that guy. Yes. My Chad is so much better. <laughs> Your Chad brings all the milkshakes to the yard. Well, a better true. person. <laughs> yes, but a character I hate? His Chad's a very good heel. It's true. <laughs> I gotta. I have to learn how to how to be a heel, Jeremy. That's what I decided. If everyone's gonna hate on the custody so much, I need to embrace the hate. But I don't know how to do that. Just be everything that you hate, Nick, and it'll work. Uh, <clears throat> Maybe just not be custodies. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not really. You play a different. There are solutions action. available. Because <laughs> you only get those invuln saves on the Emperor's Chosen, right? Uh, all no, I, get the, I get the invuln saves on all custodies. I, I get the saves against mortal wounds with the Emperor's Chosen. Um, yeah, try to perfection out if you want. That's like... really only relevant against you. I'm never not taking that against you, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> like well, I you, don't, Amanda. I don't necessarily have to do that. I have tried Solar Watch and other stuff, but against you, I am taking my four ups on mortal wounds. Thank you.
also Travis um, got that old Dari box. And he's just been... He fucking bought another, like, 500 points and then bought a bunch of paints. Nice. And so, like, he's going 0 to 100 on this. He well, we, we, that is how Travis do. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's cool, man. I'm happy. Now, El Eldari is another army that I am absolutely taking saves against mortal wounds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, some of the troops don't let you. I know. Yeah, the I've experienced that. Because I was describing... Because me and Mag were describing Skarlbrand to him. Because Skarlbrand's off. I love Skarlbrand. Because I play him in Total Warhammer 3 because he's also in the fantasy game. Skarlbrand just is a... fucking scary, dude. But, uh... No, and then he just starts listing off all these elves that give that shit. And he can just... It's a relic that he can give to his lord. That's cool. Damn elves. Damn elves. And then that avatar of death he got, um, whenever a unit of his dies, it can appear there, deal damage, and then dip out when something else dies somewhere else. I mean, everyone's got broken shit that they can do. That's what makes Warhammer fun. It's remarkably balanced. It's balanced, bro. <laughs> I, I know it's, okay. it's so incredibly balanced. It's amazing to me. And then 10th edition got announced, so that's going to be fun. Yeah. Yeah, you're getting, like, what? Like, seven, yeah. eight new models? I don't care. The only thing I care... I mean, I do care. The only thing I care about... Is that new Swarm Lord model? Yeah, there's a <laughs> bunch of new models that you're getting. Because the Swarm Lord is supposed to be like twice the size he is. Yeah, and then they they got new Termagants like in different poses, like so they don't all look exactly the same. That's cool. I need more Hormagons. I guess I it, could do another. I don't know if the Combat Patrol is the same Combat Patrol as the old one. I'm gonna be sad even with new models, but I they doubt come out they're with gonna like... do this the same. I pr they're probably gonna use the new models. Yeah. Well, well no, I just change that... it up a little bit because like there was an old Tau like starter set box, which is different from the Combat Patrol box, like the units that... on the inside of it. That's true. Also, they're coming out with actual. Uh... <laughs> they're coming out with a different type of game for 500 points. Instead of it playing like we're playing a quarter of a two thousand point game, it's like its own setup, so it's more balanced. Amanda wants us to fun. play uh, Crusades. Very much so. Uh, I'd be down for a Crusade. I was reading up on that today. It sounds fun. Fucking Mag in LA talked me into uh, playing Necromunda, and I got the Palanite boxes. And it's like 40k, but instead of an army, you control a gang of 5 to 10 gangers on this planet of Necromunda. And um, whenever you fight, you can make money, you can use the money to upgrade your guys, and you're trying to take over the... So it's like a gang war. And that one's been pretty cool. Because I like the idea of, like, what happens tonight matters next week, and the week after, and the week after. Which is why I, I really like the idea of Crusade too. I just don't know how the fuck play Crusade. I haven't even read the rules. I haven't read the rules. And, and Ryan and Amanda have my rule book. <laughs> you can't have it back now. Well, you've got your own specific cru Crusade rules in your book, right? Yeah, but I yep. want to read the general rules for Crusade. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. <laughs> I guess I could read it on Wapedia. So, are we going to do Warhammer Friday. on Friday night? Yes. And then Jeremy, LA, and Mags want to play on Tuesday? Yes, but they're not going to be able to make it for the next couple of weeks, because I guess they're going to Florida to go alligator hunting. Interesting. That sounds like them. <laughs> it does. 
<laughs> That's very on brand. <laughs> but they're also the two type of guys to die while alligator hunting, so I'm a little worried for them. Yeah, but the comedy... I still don't want my boys getting shot. But it would be hilarious. No, I mean, I don't want them to die, but it would be funny. <laughs> also, I'm doing my damnedest to slowly corrupt Tyler, and the only thing that's working on him is, goddamn, he loves orcs. And I'm like, bro, you could just get an orc army. And he looks no, at me and goes, he can meme I the could. whole thing. He would love it. <laughs> yeah. Orcs are cool. <laughs> The boys. The boys. Speaking of the boy, where's the Ben? He's got his phone on the chat, but he's not inside the call. Lucas, when are you making it to the uh, the desert? Uh, two was weeks. Born? Oh, Lucas. I found a bar we have to go to. Oh, oh shit. shit. They're having their eighth anniversary. It's a brewery, and they have a lot of video games. We're going to have food trucks and all sorts of stuff. It'll be April 15th. The 15th, okay. Which uh, bar is it? 8-Bit Brewery, 8-Bit Ale, I don't know, 8-Bit something. That sounds cool. I haven't been to that one. Hey, that's, that's D&D, &D 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 that works. We oh wait, that's D and D night at we, Jeremy's. We, yeah, yeah, we could hit we could hit the bar and then go to Jeremy's house. Oh, that's true. It's what four to ten p.m. So yeah, we could do that, and then that could be fun. Also, I'm going to cancel normal D and D that night and do Lucas D and D night with without Aww. the boys and the boys. I I no um. I, I need to. I have to. <laughs> uh, I like I love my boys. They're they're a lot. <laughs> I, I'm used to a lot. And there's four of them. Plus Thunderbird, so that's five. Pretty I would I would like to do a smaller session with you and Amanda and Ryan and Nick and Lena. Oh, that'd be fun. Be fun. I'd be down. And, are we and bring the spaghetti. Are we playing Woodland Critters? I, give me a couple of weeks to get this throat thing over, and I'll play my Murloc. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Oh, I made a map last night. I know. Ryan was telling me. I was like, what? You guys did what? <laughs> Jeremy's flushed out so much of the lore of the world already. This is this is how this is how it went. I was like, Ryan, what'd you do? And he was like, Oh, Jeremy started a whole new campaign last night. Like, <laughs> <laughs> do what? Hey, there he is. Sorry, totally got sidetracked. I was upstairs painting and completely lost track of time. What were you painting, Ben? I've been practicing painting some D&D &D miniatures. Ooh. No. <laughs> like I, so far, I'm avoided. I'm avoiding getting trapped into Warhammer. But we were just talking about it. <laughs> Come on, I said love, so like far. <laughs> we were even just talking about the orc spin. Uh, coming, laughing like the evil palm meme. The boys. <laughs> The, the boys. old boys. And now they're space dwarves. True, Leagues of Voltan. I'm tempted to get the space dwarves, but then I I don't know. I want to play so many armies. I want to play them all. Yeah, so you just want to play all the armies. I do. I, 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 but I like to play everything. They <laughs> it's all really seem fun. fun for it's different like, reasons. You got to catch them all. <laughs> I do like to catch all the There's Pokemon. There's 17 armies. That's a lot of Pokemans. <laughs> you know, but we could just like, you know, I'll play Tyranids one week and Jeremy could play Custodes and we'll just like give each other our armies and try them out. 
Except for Amanda. I'm pretty dedicated to the Necrons. They're my sister. She, she's gonna keep the Necrons and just kill you all because you're not gonna know how to play your. Oh arms. yeah. If if I showed up with the Mechanicus, you wouldn't want to try it out. Me? Yeah. Yeah. The Adeptus Mechanicus. Oh, those ones do look really cool. Or I thought you were doing the I'd rather, Sororitas. I'd rather murder them first. You know, it just seems more appropriate. He's just saying hypothetically, right? I just got to make sure that if I do eventually buy a second army, I'm not doubling up on someone else's army. Oh, are you going to get the Mechanicus next? That's my next in line, but I'm very hey, deep in the top. I was going to pick them if I didn't pick the Necrons. So. <laughs> that, is a, that could be the household one. We'll just get it for the house because you know the house needs an army. Right. That'll be Charles's army. <laughs> I'm pretty sure first you have to figure out how to paint them. The baby. Uh, <laughs> hey, Ryan started painting his tank. Igor is painted. That's not what he told me. <laughs> it's like a kid with crayons. To, to <laughs> quote, he says, I wouldn't say paint so much as started making a mess of some of them. <laughs> it didn't look like that good. bad. <laughs> it's not done yet. <laughs> that's for sure. Although, apparently, Amanda's going to start giving lessons. So that's good. Uh, that's not going to end well. But you've you've been to a class. You, you you're certified. Not a painting now. class. I went to a learning class, and I learned everything except for how to make a list, which is why. And how to paint your guys. I went. I learned so many things, though. Well, he painted my guy for me, and I'm like, "Yay, I got one done!" And it's not all the way done; just partially done. Igor's happy. You just do what I do, and um prime half of them and then sit there and internally panic because you don't like your color scheme and then when <laughs> anybody asks just say oh I'm still priming them it works and then they make fun of you well, damn, I, mean, I just I finished black. priming the rest of mine this morning <laughs> I was gonna use it. I'm gonna try to start painting because I'm like I at least have to paint some of these custodies <laughs> you, you gotta get the red on there exactly uh, all right. Well, let's get this show on the road. All right, got the stream up and running. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another exciting episode of Strixhaven. Uh, I am your dungeon master, Nick. I am here with all the Cody kids. Say hi, Cody kids. Hello, hi, Cody. Cody. Hello, Cody kids. Oh God. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas, so you got to be able to make it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you could just have Sin be one of their uh, their alter egos or whatever. There you go. There you go. <laughs> uh, so, uh, who wants to refresh uh, Tasha on what she missed out on the last two weeks while she was deep in uh, her research in in the lab? Well, there was a pretty awesome lecture about the uh, symbol glyph. In class, the seventh level abjuration spell, it was very much heavily focused upon in the quiz that we had that you rolled super well for with Nick rolling for you. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. Oh, yes. Yeah, so you everyone the in the party passed it? And actually, we all aced it. Everybody they aced raised it. That round oh, yeah. It was really good. Hell yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. Rounded up. That's what was what the oh, DC? Yeah, quote unquote, rounded up. <laughs> rounded up. Fifteen, I think, was for this program. I thought it was sixteen. Is it sixteen? What? The what DC are we talking for about? The test. Uh, I think it was sixteen. It was sixteen on that test. Cool. It was high. <laughs> Damn. Next Good test job. is gonna be even harder. Uh, anything <laughs> intelligence? I'm failing. <laughs> uh, we went to the. Stack 'em high mascot event party that was a mage tower event thing. We earned 69 points and we won the hell out of that thing. Nice, nice. hell yeah. Kieran got nice. too drunk at the party, <laughs> everybody kind of just scattered. Uh, Meepo went home with Rutha, following flying her back to the Prismari campus. Lavenia. Talked about breaking into the Zeta Beta sorority, plotting a heist with Killian. Uh, 
Wait, Margot's brother? Yes. Oh, have uh, we not seen her yet? Yeah. Also, oh, you'll learn about that. You'll learn about Margot in a second. <laughs> oh, we'll damn. get there. <laughs> we did the party learn about Kieran's history with Margot? Or just I, characters. Well, it was Lavinia and Killian Lavinia specifically. And Killian. Okay. Because I don't yeah. want to speak on that if the party's not aware of it yet. <laughs> I think Sid was privy to some of that. We'll say some tea was spilled. Very much. Very think... strong tea was spilled. We all have different parts of the story. <laughs> I I would like to know the story. <laughs> it's about why Kieran's obsessed with Margot. You know, you might as well tell Tasha. Everyone else knows. I don't <laughs> we know. Learned, we learned that Margot broke Kieran's heart when they were young. She came back one summer, and it was like she went to conversion therapy, and she just came back different. Like, they shared their first kiss together, and then Margot went off to camp and came back different. Aww. Yeah, Kieran's been through some shit lately, too. I started oh, got, a company. Uh... She talked it out with Chad. That's right, the delivery company! Cinder's delivery, delivery service. <laughs> I have to change the name. <laughs> and that looks awesome. Sorry to distract. Kiki's delivery service. Uh, the, t the party had a study group session for the test everybody ace the test um there was a blog post about kieran that kind of went viral about the campus calling her obsessed with margo and that came from the cafe not the cafe owner but the other girl that worked at the cafe me no you know right you, you don't know that <laughs> We heavily suspect her. Allegedly. Didn't mean it to basically admit to her. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah, but I don't know if you guys know. <laughs> <laughs> I was right now. <laughs> Mina Lee. Oh, uh, Mina was also wearing a Zeta Beta pin and was spotted inside of the Zeta Beta sorority later on. So she's like, now one of them. Who is she? Uh, Mina Lee? Since Have we met her co before? previously. Oh, okay. The gossip at the coffee bar. Oh, okay. I remember she runs her now. The she also editor for the... Yeah. Look, <laughs> Kieran just... might just be obsessed, okay? Like, you know, she's just she's being not... a good journalist. Well, with yeah. this backstory, I don't think it's so much obsessed as trying to figure out what happened to your love. Yeah. Especially in a world where magic and mind-altering things happen all the time. Yeah, but the Zeta Beta house has given everyone crystals. Look how benevolent they are. Yeah, I've been well, studying we got a frog crystal. high. And we have a Meepo. Yeah, a lot of hops beats their crystals. There was a <laughs> lot of drugs being done in one session. In Zilly's like, room. I think you mean Zilly, in every session? Zilly, Rowan, and Sin got fucked up together. And I think... And, and Urs McTalk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wasn't Urs McTalk the guy who got fucked up last time, too? When there was mm -hmm. drugs? I don't think so. Urs McTalk oh, is no, pretty he's... straight -laced, Oh, dude. wait, no, he's the library <laughs> orc dude. Until he met Zilly. <laughs> oh, she's corrupting him. Zilly's a great influence. Urz talk is starting to really mellow out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. What else happened? There's more. How's um how's Alistair's relationship going? Well, I managed to get us all a pass on the test, even those of us who failed. Oh. Oh, huh? I think he was talking about Aurora. Aurora included. Yeah, Aurora included. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Well, the one she felt that she was having a panic attack about? 
or a different test? Well, no, no she the next one. The next one was tough. The next test, too. Oh. <laughs> but because Alistair turned in uh, the book to uh, Professor Black uh, Thord, then uh, uh, you Wait, guys. The, Lock the Lockhart dude? Yep. Yeah. The book so that we, we took out of the library, I brought it to him. And he was like, you know, good job. And he said that, you know, we could basically count on uh, getting some extra credit on some uh, some work in the future. That's because you gave him wheel or woe, an interpretive sketch. Isn't he going <laughs> to just steal the work? Doesn't yeah, that probably. But, thing? Okay. but it prevented me from failing a test. So No, that's true. That That's good. So you guys mentioned that there was the plotting of breaking into the sorority oh. house, but you guys didn't actually discuss how that went. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Lavinia and Killian were successful in breaking into the Zeta Beta sorority. And we found some interesting things uh, there, because Killian was only interested because there was a chest uh, or something that his grandfather owned that he suspected Margot stole. And we found the chest, but there wasn't anything in it. And we and I saw we saw Margot, but uh, it wasn't Margot. It was a weird shadow creature. It was an illusion of Margot. Yes, an no illusion big deal. Of Margo. No big deal. Did he mention what might have been in the chest? Some kind of orb thing? Is that what it said? I think there mm -hmm. were like orb reliefs. There were on two the of them. Of it. Yeah, two orb things. Jumped out the window. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, that's, we not out the window. You, that's not all you found underneath the bed either. <laughs> oh, yes, we found another mm -hmm. chitin from a mage hunter under Margot's bed. Huh. So Margo's been shape shifted. Allegedly. Uh, allegedly. <laughs> uh, is this that the... session 16 by my is this, count? Is this the third or fourth window that's been jumped out of? Well, it let's see. Sin, <laughs> Sin has Four. jumped out of two windows. Meepo's jumped out of one, and Lavinia's jumped out of one. Yeah. Is that correct? Yep. Yep. Four yep. windows. Yep. Four windows. <laughs> four. We we jumped out of four windows and down one flight of stairs. Oh yes. How could I forget the flight of stair jump? <laughs> and I must say, our Quantrix knowledge is really paying uh, dividends because our math is getting better. <laughs> Um, uh, is there anything else that we forgot? Uh, kind of had That's a relationship fall apart. Uh, Sin, well, Sin and uh, yep. not fall apart, but separate, just, distance. Yeah, you know, friends. He just wants to be friends. He uh, friends owned you. He friends owned you hard. <laughs> um, there's a mage tower shenanigan thing happening. That's right. You guys can make star practice. Facing off against Delta I just, Gamma Sorority, right? Oh, that's the I, other thing. I really just want to go back to, to when Lavinia totally broke up with somebody over text. Oh, yeah. What? That oh, yeah. Lavinia that broke up with the dancer over text and then immediately blocked him. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, After yeah. Wait, what happened? Breakfast. Something like, don't ever talk to me and then went to block. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <that's> <laughs> what happened there? Kill uh... you. Killian yes. mostly, but also oh. Killian mostly, <laughs> but also Luvenia and Xanther just didn't really click together well. <laughs> but they didn't talk about the same things. He put her on read, and she didn't like it. A little. He bit did le leave her on read. That's true. She invited him to a party. I think he was just selfie because he wasn't invited to the party. Ding ding ding. <laughs> At, you guys... Because he wasn't, and Lavinia oh, oh, was. Big thing. Didn't Chad get naked? 
Chad, oh, yeah. Chad's always naked. To a fountain and it got recorded and everyone saw it. And you guys hold up. he's got more subscribers than ever. Yeah, and that's different than normal hell. Because <laughs> I'm making money off of it now. Uh, it's not. <laughs> you know. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Yeah, they leveled up because they fought things. What did you fight after? You fought the uh, blue slot after Mage Tower practice. No, you were here that's for that. Right. Um, I was just making a joke. I I was uh, and you leveled up three times, right? Well, you guys right? should be at a level five. Level five. Yeah. yeah. Yep. That's right. Um. Let's see. What else happened? <clears throat> Anything else? What are we forgetting? That feels like you most. You guys of talked it. about the chest under the bed, right? <laughs> Bro, yeah. I I scroll up and it's Kieran and it's just all caps conspiracy. The fucking hive mind. She's going to poison the, co the coffee. Girl boss, sit up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. I I I uh, tried to get into Zeta Beta with uh, Mina as a contact. I tried oh, that's to play right. that card. And you were bitching about not being able to get a hold of Luca. Oh, that too. Yeah, I was like, how the hell do I get a hold of this guy? I'm gonna strangle a squirrel or something. What your sketchy old forest dude? Yeah. I don't know, just go out in the woods and wait for a sketchy guy. Yeah, that. A sketchy hot guy. Yeah, that too. <laughs> I I'm yeah, available. But, yeah, but you notice how it's a sketchy hot guy, and not a hot sketchy guy. I think that determines he's more sketchy than hot. It's true. Yeah. Uh yeah. oh, Luvenia talked to Rowan about the mage hunt thing and Rowan basically confirmed that yeah they're fucked like they're they're like fucked up no people? like we are fucked because of oh. the mage hunter <laughs> you yeah, guys are being hunted it, we're yeah, being and hunted and like, I was actively. like oh I'm glad I swing a sword <laughs> yeah cause using a spell against them reflects the damage back to the casters but I have a gun <laughs> <laughs> all right we're gonna be the front line tasha uh I almost died twice yeah, <laughs> and they're plotting on trapping the monster and they want to also do a party somewhere you guys want to have a party to try and lure or i don't remember have a party so after, last part, last session. after party for the Mage Tower, we're going to try and host that at the Zeta Beta sorority. That one. That's it. Just as an excuse to get in. Okay, so we still don't have access, but we're working on making contacts to get yeah, in. Unless you guys want to kidnap somebody and I can walk in as them. Always risky. Yeah, that, <laughs> yeah, that goes south. That gets us kicked out of college. No, oh, yeah. In a Dude. heartbeat. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Since when is kidnapping a college offense? It's hazing. I mean, if it's a criminal offense, it can get you kicked out of college. Just ask Kieran. She's still here. <laughs> oh, there you go. All the grades are still up. <laughs> <laughs> so if you wanted to know what the the grades were... There you go. Oh, Kieran got. Uh, Kieran decided that she wanted to spend some time with her parents. Uh, Meepo got to see a rather sad side of Kieran. Very gloomy, Kieran. And then uh, Kieran spent some time with her parents, and everyone went out to Kieran's house to make her feel better. Uh, and I believe that's where we left off. Everyone was at Kieran's house, right? Yes. Oh, we agreed that if we were to have con uh, serious conversations, our crystals need to go somewhere else. <laughs> okay. Enter unless, Tasha. Unless you've you've uh, jailbreaking your phone. Tasha, what have you been doing for the last two weeks? <laughs> um, tearing apart my phone. And trying to study it, um, trying to uh, mimic the technology, and make my own that's not a part of the server but can access it, but can also deaccess it. 
And then in my free time, I'm still going to... Um... Oh, what was the other thing? I'm going to... What was that golem thing we tore apart a couple sessions ago in that uh, library? Oh, the astrolabe? Yeah, I'm going to try to uh, reconstruct the astrolabe. Well, that's easy. Well, that one's just like, okay, I'm tired of this phone. Go work on the astrolabe to uh, clear my mind and think more. Yeah. I mean, it takes you... Uh, well, let's see. Make me an Ar uh, Arcana check? Yeah. I like Arcana. Does it like me? Ooh. So, like, the the beginning is kind of slow. Right, like you get off to kind of a slow start. Like this is not technology that you were familiar with. It oh wait, doesn't... if I'm using my artificer's tools, I get to roll with advantage. Okay. And I believe Arcana was one of the subjects from a test. I believe you have a student Before... die for it. Ooh. Why did I roll with advantage again? God damn it! You're fine. Uh, so twenty four. So, strike that. You get off to a fantastic start with this thing. <laughs> Just, uh, you know, the hardest part about it is kind of how to not get traced once you've accessed the, you know, tower. Think of it like the Matrix. The oh. It's it's like kind of like the Matrix, right? It's like okay. you can kind of get in for a little bit, but eventually you will get detected, right? Um. So, yeah, uh, it takes you a while, but you kind of figure out, like, a system for making things uh, be able to access the network and then not be detected and then, you know, get off of it. Uh, and you uh, you do kind of follow up on your hunch and, and realize that... I muted myself. They are collecting all of the like data from the phones when they get used. Uh is like kind of the default way things are are working on it right now. Um Do I have access to that data? Huh? Do I have access to that data? Hmm. With a 24, I'm going to say no. You got close, though. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, you're you're more than welcome to kind of invent whatever techno babble you want to explain to everybody about uh, their phones that you're going to probably, you know, work on, I would imagine. Yes. Because uh, everyone, uh, you know, arrives. I'm, oh, well. I think, yeah, we'll have everyone come back to uh, Cody Hall after being at Kieran's. And Tasha, you've uh, made uh, quite a few breakthroughs with the your crystal. Uh, first things first, Tasha's going to take a shower. Because <laughs> she doesn't bathe when she works. So she's been just working and taking naps nonstop for the past how long has it been in game i know it's been two like weeks. two weeks oh okay so no i took a shower at some point but at some point sin would have thrown a <laughs> bucket of water on you <laughs> yeah. uh, sin, oh, sin, you've been kind of busy lately you know running around with the <laughs> delivery business and everything you walk into your room and it it reeks in here <laughs> Hey, you open up a window now and then. What? No, I need to keep the room temperature this the degree perfect. Close the you door. You got a fan? <laughs> no, I needed to keep it in the high 90s. Well, you know, while you're developing whatever you're developing, can you come up with something that doesn't smell like body in here? Wait, what smell? No, I'm almost, I've almost got... As um, you like see her, she's got her goggles on and she's got her tools and she's like picking at the phone trying to um, uh, uh, rebuild it. Um, and as she does, you see the crystal light up um, as it has like four different 
uh, wires connected to an external black box connected to it. Kind of like a battery pack. I did it! Oh my god, I did it! It's then I did it! I connected the phone to the network without them being able to access my phone. Right on! High five! I'm going to raise my hand for a high five. Is it the gun hand? Um, yeah. No, actually, it's the metal hand. I'm not even paying attention. Right on. Now, come over here, and I'm going to drag Tasha out. I'm going to go through Meepo's room because there's a broken window, and I'll put your, your head out the window so you can get some fresh air. That way you can smell the stank when you come back in. Oh my god, is that me? Yes! <laughs> Go take a shower! Tasha's gonna go take a shower. Get cleaned up. And... Alright, everyone. We've got a hazmat issue on the second floor. Open up your windows. We gotta air it out. <laughs> Alistair responds to the call for the hazmat. He comes in and starts prestidigitating and cleaning everything. Why is it so hazy out here? It's just smoke billowing out of uh, uh, Sid's and Tasha's room. It's a two-week hot box <laughs> of electrical <laughs> smoke. Woo. Zilly, there's a lot of you know noise and commotion going on outside your door. That's a that that's not unnatural though. <laughs> um, it also kind of really stinks all of a sudden. No. Um, she'll, she'll get up and see what's going on. As she opens her door, you guys see a different kind of smoke come out of her room. <laughs> <laughs> Sin notices it immediately. <laughs> hey, hey, Zilly, what's up? You guys are just being real loud out here. What's up? Uh, What's going oh, on? Oh. Uh, well, I'm not going to rain on Tasha's parade, but uh, they were working on something, and uh, I don't think they left the room for like two weeks, so it smells like BO in there. Nice, nice. Yeah, I love that. I love that for them. Good for them. Oh, God. Is that. She's going to like all of a sudden get like a whiff of it? Yeah, it tastes like, like, like a copper on the mouth, doesn't it? It's not good. It's not good. Um, she's gonna like reach in her pack and find some like rosemary <laughs> and like kind of like, you know, move her hand around in it and then like kind of like smell it. Like, okay, now that's, whew, that's much better. Okay. She really, she really gets into it in there, doesn't she? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's, she's always working, but uh, I've never uh, seen her like, this focused on something so it must be really important i'm glad it's accomplished you know that's good for all of us yes maple's gonna just start like dusting some prestidigitation to make like a sort of charcoaly smell to cancel out some of the stink from drifting this way down filter. the hall <laughs> Zedia like comes out of her room with just a handful of incense and shoves them towards Sin. Just burn these. Just take them. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, is that a good idea? I, I wonder if that's everyone stand clear in case it blows. <laughs> Killian pokes his head out. You mean you're not sure? <laughs> nope. Time to find out. I'm going to go grab a, a, a bowl, I'm sure I've got, a, or an ashtray. I'll he an says, ashtray. number 14, always back up your girls. <laughs> right. Uh, I can't let any of you die. Uh, so I'll take an ashtray and I'll put the incense on there and I'll start lighting it. Asha's going to come out of the shower. She forgot clothes again. Just in a towel. Walks past Meepo. She's going to dodge him because last time she walked past Meepo on a towel, he slapped her butt. Well, then roll me a dexterity or athletic <laughs> <laughs> Roll for tail. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> 
guy goes to the defender, so Tasha barely gets away. I'm gonna scoot towards my room. Oh, it smells a lot better in here. Yep, we work as a team. Ryan. <laughs> no, I got away from Ryan. <laughs> I'll get you next time. <laughs> Um, Tasha's going to come in and not even think about it and just start getting dressed in front of Alistair and Sin. And then as soon as she's dressed, she's going to walk over and she's got, uh, crap, I need to do a party count. How many numbers in the party? She's got that many, uh, little black boxes with wires. Um, she's going to grab them and start attaching different ports she built for them since they work. And she, she's going to walk up to Sin. Put this on your crystal. Yeah, sure. they have little ports they just attach to it. It'll make it a little bulkier, but you'll be off the system. Off the grid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it. And then she's going to hand one to Alistair. And then um, waft, walk through the wafting smoke to Zeely. Um, Zeely. Oh, yeah, sorry. She's she's in the hallway. She's... Oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> Zeely, put this on your phone as well. Cool. What is it? It looks black. What color crystal does Zeely have? You get to pick colors? Mm hmm. Green. Oh. Like Urs Mac Talk. Oh, does he have a green one? <laughs> oh, yeah. This will let you access the network without <laughs> allowing them to access your data. Who? Lavinia, here's one for you as well. Thank you. Meepo. As you're handing it over, you're going to cast Mage Hand. <laughs> <laughs> Sassy Cobalt. Wow. And you see, this he pulls out his Smith today, Meepo. <laughs> Jeez. He pulls out his crystal, and his screen's already cracked from having dropped it a couple of times. <laughs> oh, yeah. hey, Tasha, can we get like a case to go with the box for Meepo? Because he keeps breaking his shit. I don't know, guys. This crystal's starting to get heavy. Oh, I'm gonna no. take um take Meepo's crystal from him. As I get my putts left. <laughs> By what? No. It wasn't Meepo. The mage. <laughs> the mage. Man? I my mean, hands you, are right you, here. You definitely saw him casting a spell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing then, close. At least. I don't know if that makes it better. That, that's not what this is about, Tasha. That's about a predator. In one's most primal moment, lunging out and asserting their authority. So, like, as, as Alistair has been cleaning up the room, he hears this voice that, like, kind of comes just into his head. And it says, Tell Amanda I miss her. Oh. <laughs> Allie, I love you! That could be a dark alley, though. That's okay. <laughs> There's just, like, chickens and stuff there, so it'll be fine. And Batman's parents died in a dark alley, so you gotta be careful. But not this dark alley. This dark alley is cobbler. cobbler. To all the cobbler! <laughs> to all the people! Jesus, please. You could say it was a dark cobbler. Ooh, turkey. That sounds delicious. It's really too bad you weren't with us about a year ago. You could have had Cobbler. She <laughs> sent everyone Cobbler. Aw. With the top secret Cobbler recipe. Top secret. That we all have now. We all have it now. <laughs> Tell her I miss her and I love her dearly. Oh, she knows. Okay. She knows. You know, I need you to tell her also. Uh, I'll tell her too. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, so everyone gets their phone jailbroken. Uh, do you jailbreak Killian's phone? 
Yes. Tasha, I know you were going to make one for uh, Kieran, but she doesn't have one, so maybe Killian can use it. Good. You can give one to that Hulk of a boy she has. <laughs> if you ever see I him. I think we want him to be tracked, don't we? I know I do. It it's better would, to know where he's at at all times. It would be very strange, I think, if all of a sudden Chad's data wasn't being collected. That would probably be a red flag for them. Plus, with how often he's actually posting, it would just negate it anyways. Anybody who's following Chad gets an update right now. Look, see, he's oh, already what? live this morning doing push-ups. Oh, those were his arms? No, he had two posts. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, it's delayed. I plugged in the thing, and now my feet is slow. <laughs> It'll be a little slow, Chad yeah. Probably... <laughs> Chad probably posts like every two minutes when he can. <laughs> yeah, he has. He's roughly the size of a barge, Alistair. He has to. Gaston um, eats three. But why raw? <laughs> Cook the eggs, man. It's an efficiency thing. <laughs> Just wait until he gets into his juicing phase. Oh, God. I'm so here for that. <laughs> uh, all right. Is there anything anyone else wants to talk about with the party before uh, you have class the next day? Um... I, I just, uh, this is like really cool and all, but can I ask why we have it on? Is it like an extra app or battery charger? You said that they can't get us now. No, I uh, need something. How much have you been smoking? That's that. Do you need an honest answer? It would help. Today? <laughs> let's say for the last two weeks <laughs> she's gonna shake her head yes okay you may have missed a few things um sin catch her up okay all right so they're currently tracking all of the data that's going through our crystals which is messages calls uh, probably location data as well. And Tasha... Who's, Tasha? Who's they? It's... Oh, the, uh, the uh, Zeta, Beta. Zeta Beta house. Uh, the Kappa Gammas. Uh, Kappa Kappas, as Karen would say. Kappa Kappas? Uh, yeah, they're the ones that distributed the crystals and they're currently collecting all the data. Uh, thankfully, all of our stuff's plugged in because we're giving away the secrets that they all know about now. And, and uh, I think Kieran's on the right uh, track uh, that they are um, some kind of hive mind situation and they're collecting everyone's data to try to, I don't know, maybe blackmail or something. Hashtag Kieran was right. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe. Hashtag not obsessed. Until, <laughs> until a hive mind actually happens, I'm not giving any credit. <laughs> How much have you been smoking? I'm not obsessed. I've been actually, I mean, besides <laughs> with you the other night, I've been surprised, surprisingly sober. I've got a business to run. I'm getting everybody else high. Congratulations. That sounds like a successful business. Yeah. yeah. She's, she's kind of going to look around a little confused and kind of look to like other people like, what? But I guess they all just are Resting bitch faces too, so it's like, oh, okay then. Sin, really quick, when you say that, you change into uh, Cinder, Cinder, and when you change into Cinder, Zilly, that's who you get your weed from. Hey, I know you. Hello. Huh. Look at that. You must have been really out of your mind because I was in there in your room and I was like six different people that night no I thought we just had a big party 
<laughs> we did. <laughs> they were all you? Yes, ma'am. So maybe not as big of a party. That was the night you talked to Sergeant Hops. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time, though. It's the first time he talked back. No, this is the first time he talked back without you having to cast uh, Speak with Animals. Hello. <laughs> Were you Sergeant Hops, too? No. But now that you think about it, I could be. This requires experimentation. <laughs> I, I should, I think I, uh, I think I might need to take a break from this for a minute. That's a good idea. Uh, Sin goes and grabs a, a glass of water. Here, drink this. You gotta hydrate. Gotta hydrate. Or, you'll, or die. you'll die. What is it? Water. Okay. Yeah, Zilly will drink the water and then kind of take a minute. And I mean, she's not going to be sober instantly, but she's uh, going to not be as high for the foreseeable future. She's she's joining the group again. <laughs> is everyone is everyone good here before the test or before the class? I think so. All right, scooter to me. Another test. Oh, you guys just have class the next day. Yeah, class. I meant class. Don't freak me out like that, man. The last one was hard. I'm going to Batman my way out. I'm going to have my scooter come to me and jump out Meepo's window and take off. So, Zilly, you took uh, this class last semester, and this is the old. This is the test that you failed that made you fail the class. So you have to pass this test in order yeah. to actually get credit for the class so that's why you're in the class with everyone now oh good i'm in the class with everyone now this is a hard one i think i'm gonna be sober for it now i got you uh do you have control of your token wait yeah i do she can make a run for it well you could also choose where you want to sit um uh, Alistair, I'm going to get rid of everyone's grades here. No, that totally makes sense. No, I'm, I'm definitely a C. Don't, don't need sure. to remind everyone that it was a really shitty test and most people <laughs> failed. Most people failed. It was a hard test. There are, there are a lot of people that did not get to do clubs or anything that, that uh, period. Okay, so she's going to move up closer because she needs to be able to hear the teacher better so she doesn't fail again. I guess I should have looked at everyone's grades to figure out who the smart kids were to sit next to them instead. <laughs> Put the grades back! Actually, a lot of the dumb kids have passed a lot of the tests. <laughs> It's been, uh, that test, a lot of people, like, beforehand, most people passed. That was the first test that most people failed. I, so I didn't passed even have that to one. Cheat I had on one, this one. one miss. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, you all, uh, come in for class, and, uh, Professor Blackstone is giving a lecture about, uh, the augury spell. Uh, and he says, uh, so who could tell me, uh, what is an augury? Anyone? Alistair Anyone? raises his hand. Yes, Mr. Alistair. Uh, Professor, isn't that when you, usually you use some sort of implement to read the fates, uh, birds perhaps, or, or stones, or runes? Exactly. It's a divination of... Uh, either uh, what can be uh, prescribed as a uh, good omen or a bad omen or other kind of interpretations of the results. So uh, many uh, scholars uh, call it weal or woe. Uh, and uh, however, the spell doesn't take into account any possible circumstances that might change uh you know, before the outcome of the casting of the spell, but it can give 
a momentary glimpse into the future of a decision. Um, and Alistair, as he's like speaking, you realize that he is almost verbatim reciting the book that you gave him. Oh, yeah. I thought it was a place that you dig holes. What? Uh, Alistair keeps that to himself. He doesn't I said say anything. <laughs> He's just <laughs> like, I suspected something like this. Uh, now, does anyone have any questions? Alistair raises his hand again. Yes. Professor, isn't that traditionally the domain of, well, the mages of faith, uh, clerics and the like? Is that an arcane spell? Uh, primarily, it is uh, a... Let's see. Which spell? Is it only available to clerics? No, there's a divination school and uh, wizardry too. I was just yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what I thought. I was trying but to I was trap like, the teacher. <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure wizards can cast this spell. Um, <laughs> he says uh, there are many uh, gods and the like that do grant similar uh, visions of uh, <laughs> good or bad by the uh, deities' per, uh, interpretation. Uh, however, uh, and you can see like he kind of stumbles a little bit, and he says, "It's not important." And actually, it does. Like I just pulled it up, <clears throat> augury is specifically a cleric spell. That's what I thought. But I know there's some like divination wizard spells too, but yeah. Like, specifically divination. But this guy doesn't know what he's talking about, so it's okay. Sweet. <laughs> it fits. <laughs> Sorry, I had to go all Hermione there. I mean, you know, he he tried his best to Professor Lockhart it. Um, all right. Uh, does anything, uh, anyone have anything else they want to ask the professor during class? No, I'm going to ask my professor when he gets out of class. <laughs> all right. And then, uh, is there anything anyone would like to do after class? I, I think I'm just running errands. Don't we have some sort of mage tower competition? Is that like today or is that just later this week? Nope, that is going to be later today. You have the mage tower game against uh, Delta Gamma. In that case, uh, and that. Now, you guys are down a player because Kieran yeah. hasn't come back yet. So after class, since Kieran is still MIA and that she doesn't have a crystal, we can't check in on her. After class, is everyone starting to funnel out? Meepo's going to approach Zeely. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, uh, so I noticed that uh, Sergeant Hops hasn't been just croaking nonstop all throughout the nights as often. And uh, I just wanted to say maybe that means that you might have had an idea about what you're doing with him, and maybe there's just a small chance that I was wrong in what I was doing before. And, well, I feel a little bit sorry for what I said to you before, and I wanted a chance to make it up to you. Uh, later this afternoon, there's this Mage Tower competition that we're all doing, and, well, lately, Kieran just has had a few cruddy days, and I was hoping that you could step in to give us a hand in her absence while she deals with some family issues that are going on. You just see like a, a smile creep across her entire face and she just like lights up. Yeah, yeah, I would, I would definitely do the Mage Tower thing with, I, do you know, what, what do I have to do? Can I? Well, I'll tell you what, if our team 
can beat Delta Gamma, that this next meet that's happening tonight, Sergeant Hobbs can stay in your room. All right? That's going to be our deal. But I want you to know, if we lose to Delta Gamma, I'm taking the sergeant back. Uh, okay. Um, before before I agree to that, can I mean I haven't. I mean I've seen seen some of the things go on, but I. Uh, what what is it we have to do? Well, every competition's a little bit different. But so far, we've been scoring rather stupendously, if I don't say so myself. Everybody you know, Cody Wells pretty gifted. You've got yourself a deal, and she's going to put out her hand for a handshake. He's going to, like, slap her hand like a bad high five. Oh, yeah. She's going right. to look at it like, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. We're going to, we got this. This is going to be great. Yeah, rules now. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna hand you a pamphlet. All right, see you this afternoon. <sighs> he skips away. Oh God, wait. <laughs> Meepo always has the pamphlets. <laughs> Meepo really likes Mage Tower. I'm part of the cheer squad. I just really like to win. <laughs> I'm glad I picked the feet up here. So basically, right. you can you can use a skill right next to aid a player, or you can use a spell to give disadvantage on the opposing team's checks. Oh, fine. Yeah, so you can, uh, instead of making a check yourself, you can cast a spell, and uh, if it's a first or second level spell, you can grant another character advantage on their ability check if it's third level or higher, it counts as a successful ability check for the purposes of determining the winner. So you can only give um, advantage to your team is how the rules work. Oh, that's right. That's right. The first time we oh. did the disadvantage thing, and it was a nightmare. Yeah. Okay. I can do this. We'll be fine. It's for Sergeant Hops. For Sergeant Hops. Uh, Zilly's gonna look up for the pamphlet and see that uh, Meeple's just gone. Like, where, where do we meet for this? <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Hop on the back of my scooter. Oh, hi, Sin. Wait, are you Sin right now, or are you my drug dealer? <laughs> I'm Sin. <laughs> hi, Sin. <laughs> They're all gonna be raspy voices tonight. Okay. So, I'll, I'll get you there. Uh, have you done it before the 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 mage tower? I, mage we tower? did it in practice, yeah. How'd you do? Well, we practiced against ourselves, so we won. Oh, uh, that's promising. That's probably like really promising. That's got to be good. Uh, how intense is it? It's, it's very intense. There's it's people going intense. all over the place and spells going like crazy, but you got to try to capture the uh, the mascot more times than the opponents. That's basically it. It's like capture capture the mascot, capture the flag. Who's who's the mascot? I'll show you when we get back to the Cody Hall place because there's a couple of different ones. Yeah, you guys have to choose either Peter or... Tasha's familiar. I think we need to do Greasy Pete again. Or you could do Sergeant Hops. Leave him out of this. <laughs> He's central to everything. Me and Meeple will just he take him and run off the field. <laughs> <laughs> but you do all have options for a mascot, but you do have to choose one. All right, team, what are we doing? The Greasy Peter. 
I like Greasy I, Pete. I hope it's Peter. <laughs> Who's Greasy Pete? <laughs> <laughs> Um, Peter is the name. I'm so far behind. I'm so sorry. Peter is no, the name funny. of our mascot, and I'll cast grease on him. So when the other team tries to steal him, he'll be greasy. Whoa! It just happens to sound dirty. How, how much do these mascots typically weigh? They're tiny. Are they like mid handable? Like less than five pounds. I think so. Okay. Let me see. I don't know if stat blocks have weights on them, but we're <laughs> gonna find out. They typically don't. No. <laughs> I think it's like it's an X factor based on size or whatever. Yeah, if they're tiny, like five pounds should be a, a good up in weight. Yeah, I think they're tiny size is their size. Yeah, I mean a, a small child is like eight pounds newborn. That's, they're pretty tiny. Greasy Pete it is. <laughs> just because it just sounds way worse when they actually do achieve uh, capturing the Greasy Peter. <laughs> <laughs> so even if they win, they still lose. Yeah, because now we can defame them on social media. Yeah, but we can't we can't let them win. Well, I was instructed by the girl code to destroy my enemies socially. Oh, that's fine. Oh, I lied. They're small, so I think they're too big for Mage Hand. They are small size. Damn. The, the RL, art elemental is a small elemental. Anyways, you guys are going to go with Peter? I think so. Oh, yeah. Sounds like it. Cool. Um, anything else you'd like to do before the Mage Tower event? I'm going to look at my spells and see which one's more beneficial. <laughs> uh, yes, actually. So I, I just realized that Lavenia, she talks to Shivadri all the time, right? You know who she does hasn't talked to in a while? Greta. Mm. That's true. Oh, you're she has not buddy. checked up on Greta because Greta has also failed the last two tests. Mm -hmm. Lavinia has been unable to attend like any of her clubs. Oh yeah, Greta hasn't been around at all. Uh, where do you try to go find Greta? Oh. I don't I don't even know where she would hang out at. I don't know. I'm stumped on that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, because normally, let's see. Um, I mean, normally she she has the Iron Lifter Society. She does have her job at the Strixhaven Stadium as the equipment manager. Mm -hmm. But she can't do that right now either because she yeah. has her tech. So, hard to say, uh, you know, uh, not having clubs it's it's hard to say what greta might be getting up to because you know she she's a bit of a troublemaker um you know she uh likes to drink a lot of beer and things like that so oh then she'll check the uh what the hell is the the tavern name oh uh the bozen tavern bozen tavern so check there for her. All right, and sure enough, you find her there. Uh, she she is drinking some beer, studying for the test. Uh, yeah, uh, Lavedia will uh, will approach her and be like, "Hey, can I buy you like your next round?" 
Oh, hey, Livia. Yeah, cheers. I'd love another round, actually. That'd be great. And if you buy it, they won't cut me off when I get another one. <laughs> how are uh, how are you doing? Oh, you know, I'm I'm good. Been doing, you know, Cody Hall stuff. So weird things. Uh, I heard you broke up with Xander. I did break up with Xander. However, That's... I didn't think we were actually together. Still. I heard it was pretty fucking brutal. Yeah, I guess I could have been nicer about it, but like he obviously didn't want to talk to me, so I didn't really want to talk to him, so. Why not? He's gorgeous. I mean, yeah, he's gorgeous, but he doesn't, we, we just didn't like have the same things in common. So what? You don't need to have anything in common with him. Just look at him. <laughs> You just go, shh, 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 don't talk. And then you just look at it. It's perfect. What, uh, what are you doing here? What, what am I doing here? I wanted, I wanted to, to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. Cause like we, yeah. You wanted to see me? Oh, no one wants to see me. Except for when they need something heavy moved. And then they're always calling me up. Nobody wants to see you, but you're great. Well, I mean, I don't exactly have... You know, the you know the Iron Lifter Society is really just kind of you and me right now, so... Uh, yeah. But, uh... Well, hey. Thanks for, uh... Yeah. Checking in on me. Yeah, you know that's 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 what friends do. Uh, how are how are what are you doing? What what have you been up to? Uh, well, not much, really. She she can she fibs like just a little white lie, <laughs> <laughs> you know, because well. I guess I couldn't say not much, but you know, where Cody Hall was like participating in the battle for Strixhaven. So I've been doing that. I have another uh, boyfriend after wait, I broke up with Already? <laughs> Hold on, Dish. Do you okay. Uh do you know uh Killian Lou? The Dean's son? The Dean's son, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I know him. That that's him. Huh. Isn't he kind of weird? I mean, yeah, but I'm kind of weird. That's true. Touche. <laughs> I mean, but I like your weird. You know, you're down to earth. You're cool. Oh, thanks. He wouldn't have struck me as the type to be down to earth and cool. Are you sure? Yeah, Killian's like pretty down to earth, I think. He's pretty cool. Oh. Huh. He's I guess he, he, he usually plays. keeps to himself when we're at parties and stuff. Yeah, I don't I'm not sure if he has any friends. And I don't mean that in a mean way. I just I just don't know if he does. Well, next time we're at a party, I'll I'll do a keg stand with him. <laughs> I'd love to see you try to convince him to do a keg stand. Oh, challenge accepted. I will do that. You have never seen something more stubborn than this dwarf. But how how are how are you doing? You know, like with everything. Oh, well, failing the test was pretty bad. Um Yeah. That was a hard test. So hard. And the next one's going to be even harder. I don't know shit about this stuff. I could I could help you. Yeah? Can you help me study? Yeah. Well, that'd be great. Uh I think what are we do we even know what we're supposed to, we have to write another essay, right? Do we even know what it's supposed to be on? Did he even say anything about it? Ugh. Uh I don't think so. I just know that today's 
class was on augury. But he didn't say if that was going to be the test. Yeah, but like, okay, you know what that Alistair kid was saying about how like it's like not an arcane spell like the fucking professor was talking about? I looked it up. He's right. Oh, yeah, augury is like a like a divine divination kind of thing. Yeah, so how the fuck am I supposed to pass this lunatic's test if he's not teaching us the right crap? That's all I'm saying. It sure doesn't seem like he's a very good uh, professor sometime. It's messed up, man. Anyways, uh, when do you want to study? Uh, you guys have that mage tower thing tonight, right? Yeah, we have that mage tower thing tonight. And then as far as I'm aware, I'm not really busy with anything else. I can't really go to any of my clubs. Why not? You passed the test. Well, yeah, but, you know, you didn't pass the test. Oh. I can't really do iron lifting by myself. I need a spotter, you know? Yeah, that's true. These and Shivadri failed rules. her test. Shivadri failed? She, She's going to get a little bit closer to, to Greta, like leaning over the table a little bit. Shivadri failed both of her tests this year. Right. Like all of them that we've had so far. That's not like her. I know. Do you think it has to do with that sorority stuff she's doing? I was going to say that, but I didn't think wanted you to think that I was crazy. No, I, think, I but, mean yeah. like anytime anyone joins that that sorority, they always go cuckoo. <laughs> and I'm not saying that because she's a bird. No, 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 no. No, no yeah, it, she... it is funny. Cuckoo. Yeah. Yeah, every time I've like talked to her or like tried to hang out with her, she's like, "Oh yeah, I just have to, I can't do that because say a beta." And it's like, how busy could a sorority make you? Well, I mean, you know how I say like I don't really have friends anymore. It's because I was hanging out with uh, you know, some some of the you know freshmen. Like you know, I used to hang out with Rubina sometimes, and like just poof, not around anymore. Oh yeah, Rubina. She she's in Zeta Beta now. Mm -hmm. Nina Lee is in Zeta Beta. From the coffee shop? I didn't mm -hmm. know that. Well. Hmm. It's like they're they're just picking up like everyone. <laughs> well they did give us these crystal things. These are cool, aren't they? Oh, she's got yeah. like an oh, orange crystal. Way. Give give me your vibe. Oh yeah, here. Can't believe we, I haven't seen you since we got these things. I don't think I've even seen you since before we got these things. It's been a while. I know. Well, also I switched sheets in class and kind of left you hanging. Sorry about that. That's okay. And also, I haven't been getting invited to any of the fratter sorority parties. Fuck it, snobs. They just don't want me to drink them out of house and home. Don't you, like, usually get invited to the parties, though? I usually see you at them. Oh, yeah, to a lot of the other parties, just not the frat and sorority parties. Uh, I, I did get into the one at the beginning of the year, though. But I think that's why I haven't gotten into any of the other ones since. Thanks for the drink. Of course. Here, I'll buy you. I'll buy you another one before I uh, get going. Before a Meepo comes and hunts me down for not being sportsmanly or something like that. <laughs> He's really serious about this thing. Well, I mean, he is. He has gotten a lot smarter lately, so you should probably listen to him. I'll uh, I'll keep that in mind. Uh. Alistair, I need you to roll me a D100, please. A D100. Okay. Mm, indeed. I feel like this is going to be an important roll. I'm going to get my dice out. This is a very important roll. You know, uh -oh. if it's a low number you want, my <laughs> percentile dice are notoriously good for rolling them. Okay, here come my... Uh... 
Actually, I technically those are uh, Callum's dice, so we're going to go with the green ones that I well, got he, from some nice he person. He did get lucky. He got some very nice, cool green dice I'm going to use. Yay. That's a 79. Uh, Alistair, what do you want your beard to look like? Yes! Belt of uh, kind! I want my beard... It's like, I don't think he's really gonna grow a thick beard, but I want it to look, um, kind of like the Spock beard. You know, almost, almost a Van Dyke, but a little, little thicker than that. I'll find a good picture of it. <laughs> Uh, but long story short is Alistair, you do grow a beard. Excellent. You know, it's the important things in life. It is. Uh, all right. Uh, anyone else have anything? Uh, did you see the messages I sent you? Oh. Oh, right. You, I forgot about that. I apologize, Ben. Thank you for the reminder. You wanted to see Tivash, right? Yes. Or no, you already, did I, you already I, go see him? I talked to him and he recommended I head over to the Witherbloom campus and talk to uh, the dean over there. Uh oh, that's right. Uh, he recommended you go talk to uh Lisette, right? The dean of the root. Yes. All right. Well, you do know somebody who knows the dean pretty well. Not on exactly great terms, but she does know the dean. And who's that? Uh, that would be Zilly. I knew you were gonna say that. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it would be like bad terms. Just, you you know, stole the prized mushrooms. They weren't prized. They were just really good. <laughs> so, I guess I'm going to go talk to uh, Zilly. Hey, uh, uh, Zilly, can, can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, yeah. Is this, is this about Mage Tower? Because I am. I am all for it. I am studying. I'm reading the pamphlet. I read the back of it too. So it, I'm like, it is sort of about Mage Tower, but it's also not about Mage Tower. Okay. Um, yeah. So you know the the dean of uh, Witherbloom College, right? The the dean of the root. <laughs> you just see like her whole entire face, just like away. Look, yeah, but like, who told you that story? Like, I thought that was, like, under maps. You know, like, it wasn't supposed to be, like... Uh, what story? Um, her name... Um, you know, her name, the... What do you need? So, I was hoping that I would be able to find someone and, uh, Professor Tavash suggested Lisette who could point me to where I could find like a a wolf skull. Um you know like it's any wolf skull or well I I hope it would be like possibly a dire wolf, but you know it it needs to have been important, you know? It's like I, I want to use this as a magical focus. And so I don't want to just get like a random skull lying in the forest. I mean, it would work, but I know there's some that like have been preserved and, and worked. And that's what I'm really looking for. And I, Professor Tavash seemed to think that she might have some. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, DM, but my boyfriend, he knows her pretty well, right? Yeah. Urs McTalk is... Oh, Urs uh, McTalk knows her too? Oh, I'm going to go to Urza's office. Be like, you know what? You know what? Let me see what I can do for you. Because I think I think I can maybe... Well, I thought I might ask Urza McTalk, but I know you guys have been kind of close. I mean, I'm in the, the horticulture club with him, but I haven't seen him really a lot recently. Uh, I mean, he's been around yeah, the I, hall, I but 
Zilly's technically in the horticulture club too. Yeah, I was. Uh... You you are. I don't think I've seen you at any of our meetings. <laughs> I mean, Grant, we don't really have many because Urs McTalk hasn't been posting any. So I don't know if he's been having them without us. Well, you know, we've been, um, I've been, there have been meetings with Urs McTalk, just maybe not super horticulture related meetings. I mean, there was plants involved. There were plants, there were plants involved. Yeah, there was. Oh. Anyways, I'm, yeah, I'm, you know what, you know what, say less, I'm gonna, I got you, I will find a dire wolf skull for you, yes, I can do that, I can, I, uh, she's gonna, like, we're allowed to use our, our orbs, right? Your crystals? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. She's, she's gonna try and get a hold of Urzma. Oh, yeah, like, the second you, you call him, he answers the phone. <laughs> And, and she's just gonna like kind of put her hand up, like you know, like one finger up to Alistair, and just kind of get in touch with her and talk and see if she can get with him to get with the dean <laughs> to get Alistair what he needs. Cause... Are you uh, are you calling him or texting him? What kind of what is Zilly's style? Oh, uh, Zilly would Zilly would call. She she talks too much to text. <laughs> Uh, so Urzmik Talk picks up his crystal and he says, Hey, Zilly Bean, what's up? Zilly Bean. Hi, Urzma. So I had like, I had a really big favor to ask. I was just, I was talking to Alistair and he needed help. And I just, I know you were the person to ask. Uh, yeah, what do you need help with? I have to find a dire wolf skull. And, like, I know the Dean might have one, but you know my history with her, so I don't think she'd be super willing to talk to me. But, you know, I know she, she thinks so highly of you because, you know, you're you. Well, yeah, that was until I abandoned post uh, um, during the, uh, <laughs> the freshman initiation. But, uh, you know, I've been working my way back up with her. Um I don't know about getting her prized skull from her collection. I mean, she really likes that skull. It's on her. It's on display in her office. I've been in there before. Am I hearing any of this? Yeah, sure. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah. Zilly would definitely. <laughs> Zilly on would be on speakerphone for sure. <laughs> so, like. I mean, I don't need like her prize skull necessarily, but if she's got more than one, I mean, just any of them, maybe she's like collected and she's done a little bit of work on anything like that. And she, like Zilly's going to like stay quiet and just like look at her crystal waiting for a response. I know. Uh, well, I mean, I have heard. Well, I mean, there's hunters in other villages. We could probably go. Our, I mean, the D does have other stores, but the easiest one would be to get the one in her office. Uh, well, but I mean, so I mean, would she be willing to sell it? Maybe. I mean, so look, here's the deal. I'm, I need it as a magical focus. Like I. It's going to be important to me. I'm not just like going to go stick it on a shelf or something. Like this is, this is something that is going to. Do you guys know much about necromancy? Uh, no, I'm uh, mostly interested in the life of plants. I like the life really more so than the death part. Oh, that's what I like about you. Well, okay, we won't get into the philosophical discussion of the fact that they're the same side of the same thing. Anyway, like, the... If if Look, I had something I mean, like that... we've talked oh. about this. Like, compost and everything, like, we get it. But, you know, like, specifically making something die or wither, that's different than the natural life cycle of things. You know what I mean? Or well, bring that's something it. back afterwards instead of letting it decay and then bring new life. You know, that's different, right? Like, we've had these discussions, Alistair. I, I, I realize that, but, like, bringing something 
reconnecting with its spirit in what's the spirit that's still attached to what was its physical form. I think that has merit and clearly others do too. There are well-established traditions of this. Well, I have heard a rumor that the, uh, the Dean is interested in, you know, trading skulls for skulls. And she's always interested in really like exotic skulls so i mean the dire wolf isn't the most exotic thing so if you could get something cooler to trade her you might be able to get it okay okay now see now we're talking i like it i like it okay um okay like what's something that's like rare you don't see it very often would have a cool looking skull you know something she could really show off in her office that says badass like that's really her vibe I mean, something springs to mind, but I, I'm not sure I'd be capable of collecting it now. Um, Do you need help? Yeah, we're happy to help you. Um, you know what? You're I'm, I'm going to give some thought. Of the Horticulture Club, Alistair. Let Let me think about it a little more, and and I will. I'm, I'm going to run by the library. I'm going to do a little bit of look, a little bit of research on this. But uh, I'll, I'll holler back at you guys like in an hour, okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah, we can. I'll, I'll be. I'll be. Yeah. Okay. Like, g- give me an hour. Okay. And Alistair's gonna take off to the, uh, uh, the biblio, the, the biblioplex. Because the first thing he thought of was a mage hunter skull, but I don't think we're gonna go find that right now. <laughs> Could be fun. Could be fun. Uh, Urs McTop like hangs up his crystal, and then we cut to what he was actually doing. And he was in the middle of teaching a freshman class, uh, like a oh like a, in like a, a lab, you know, like you know how you have like class, and then you have the lab section of the class. Like he was doing a lab section of class. He says, "Okay, sorry, I had to take that." Anyways, um, <laughs> all right. Uh, so. We flash forward to the night of the Mage Tower game. Uh, so. Wait, I changed this name. Hold on a second. All right. Uh, so uh, I need to. Oh wait, I need to grab your mascot. I'm gonna let you guys name uh their mascot right now. Have fun with it. You only get one chance. What does it look like? Gordita Crunch. It is also an art elemental mascot because this is a <laughs> the Prismari sorority. <sighs> so, what are you guys gonna name the uh, opposing team's mascot? I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys one shot at it. One opportunity. This is everything Cold you ever fire? wanted. Now. I think with uh, with Nick's wise words, it it has to be Eminem. <laughs> like the candy, right? Yeah. Short for Marshall Mathers, because you know we only get one shot. Bob's the spaghetti. <laughs> I was gonna say Chalupa. You could call it Chalupa if you want. I won't stop you. I gotta find something to be a Chalupa in this world. <laughs> All right. Uh, so uh, this is an official uh, Battle for Strixhaven Mage Tower event. And uh, you all rightly pointed out my mistake last time of the number of points that you have all earned. Uh, and so uh, I did realize that uh, this is, in fact, the third, fourth match 
not the tiebreaker to get in. I believe is how I decided that was going to shake out. You guys are in third. They are in fourth. And then we had Zeta Beta and the other fraternity of uh, Sigma Phi in first place and second place. Yes. And not at all for plot reasons. All right. <laughs> so uh, we're going to have a good old fashioned game of Mage Tower. Pulling up my Mage Tower rules here. Okay. So uh, Ruth uh, Meepo, she comes up to you uh, before the game and she says, You know, I am not going to hold anything back. I'd only be disappointed if you tried. Looking please, forward to seeing your best out there. Please tell me that Meepo has his headband on. Definitely. <laughs> uh, all right. So. Let's see. Uh, who wants to roll me? We're going to do this Warhammer style. We're gonna roll d6s. Who wants to roll me a d6 to see who gets to go first? I got, got it. This. Oh, no. Oh. Meepo's got it. All right. Yeah. Meepo is ready. All right. I was born for this. Meepo's trying to impress a girl. Right? Maybe. We don't know. There's a, there's some questions uh, about Meepo's relationship with Rutha. I gotta destroy her. <laughs> Quick question before we start: um, Are hit points going to matter? Because I never rolled for the last when we when we leveled up. Hit yep. points aren't going to matter, but uh, we can roll right now for your hit points. Uh, Unless another you're, slotty comes in. You're a druid, and it's a <laughs> D8, right? Sounds right. Like vegetables, like it's a D8. I rolled a three. Roll a two. So you get the three. But. We roll twice, right? Because there's two levels. Yep, yep. I rolled two. Fire. Oh, oh God. <laughs> well, Zane's not getting a ton of perfect. No, I was going to have Alistair hit points. No, she still has more hit points than Alistair. <laughs> Even with your belt. It <laughs> hey, reminds me since it's been forever. What do I add with the hit points? Con? Your con mod. Con. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so many more. Alright. So, um, I believe uh, we're just seeing do, 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 do. Yeah, just who gets the greatest mm -hmm. number of successes. So, uh, you all get to go first. Uh, why don't you describe to me as a team how you're going to go about um, getting to the mascot in this on uh, in this pitch, it's a little different than when you were doing your um, your practice because the actual stadium. Hold on, where's my? Is a little different than. Uh, the the practice field because there's no ramps. There is just the two towers on either side. So where this tower is, and where Peter is, er, er, there we go. Where this tower is right there. Uh, that is how tall are these things? Hold on one second. So, okay, here we go. Strixhaven Stadium is enormous. The circular bright field is covered with small hills and 40-foot towers rise up at either end of the field. The surrounding bleachers stretch 50 feet into the air. Five spires each uh, fly a flag as the Strixhaven Colleges. Uh, and a sixth uh, flies a banner displaying the Strixhaven star. So the entire like field below is difficult terrain because of the hills built into the playing field. So if you have any way of 
flying or other means of magical transportation that will, um, you know, help things get sped up. Um, and the bleachers are filled with, you know, just tons of uh, students from fraternities and sororities and everybody um, watching. Are okay, well, pre-buffs allowed? Uh, what do you mean? Like enhance ability. Uh, no, I'm going to say enhance ability would be a spell that you could cast to give somebody advantage. Gotcha. Okay, so Alistair wants to give someone else advantage in trying to get close to the other mascot and he, wants to do, he wants to do so by casting cause fear but all right is that a third level spell uh it is going to be a third level i'm up casting it because my two third level spells aren't going to help me in mage tower okay i believe a third level spell just gets you guys an automatic success that's what you see so uh it, go ahead and just describe how the fear, you know, affects the other team. So I can pick up to three creatures uh, that must be within 30 feet of each other. And they've got to be within 60 feet of me. So basically, as I get close to the, the tower, I sort of get to like the midfield and concentrate on a grouping of them that seem to be trying to work together to get around behind us. And they just start, first they start seeing small little wisps of like fog and, and you know, mist start to coalesce around them. And then in their heads, they start hearing little whispers and they're all, they're, they tap into something in their minds and they start hearing little whispers about the things they're afraid of. Like, you know, disappointing your father or, you know, being caught in the dark by something evil and pointy and those kinds of things. All right. Uh, perfect. Who wants to go next? Asha would like to cast uh, Enlarge Reduce on to uh, Peter to make him a medium-sized creature from a small-sized creature so they can't just pick him up and run away from him. They actually have to... more inconveniently sized. Yeah. Okay. And that'd be a second level spell. All right. So then, mechanically, you'd get to give uh, advantage to somebody on your team. Uh, when they make their skill roll to determine a success. Okay. Um... So you guys should probably figure out who's going to be rolling skill rolls. So Meepo can go for it this round. I'm pretty... I, I think I can... I got some speed on me. I can do that too. Alright, so the Meepo is going to go first. Uh... At some point, as this, as as Peter is getting engorged on our side of the battlefield, he draws the attention of some of the other Mage Tower team, and so Meepo drops this fog cloud spell, and then just launching out of it like a from a bullet, he just shoots off toward directly towards their mascot through any offensive spells that are going off as he's flying up much more rapidly on his broom at 50 feet uh, for his movement. And so he's going to try and just swoop down and just kind of make an acrobatics check to or a sleight of hands check to just swoop down at the last second and scoop up the mascot. All right. Uh, go ahead and make your check with advantage. Twenty-two. All right. Uh, 
That is, that, I mean, that's definitely a success. And as we're like gearing up for the next round of play or whatever, he's going to look over at Sin and say, all right, Sin, this round, I don't want you to hold anything back. Give him hell. And I'm going to bardically inspire Sin. Oh, me bow. Of course. <laughs> for a D6 to an ability check. Ooh. All right. I'm going to mark that down. There's one more success. Okay. Uh, who's next? I'll go. Sure. Uh, so Sid, uh, atop their mighty steed scooter, uh, ha- has a-, a movement speed of 120 feet, half to 60. So they're just going to barrel through, dipping and diving like Tasha in the bowl with the other crappy skaters and just make a beeline and try to ride up the ramp to grab the, uh, the mascot. All right. So like Meepo makes the beeline and actually flies up to the top of the tower, grabs the mascot and is able to kind of get down to you there at the bottom and pass off the, the mascot to you. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see, who do we have left? We have Zilly and is that it? And Luvinia? We have two left. Oh, wait, oh, yeah. you have to make a check. Yeah, <laughs> I was waiting. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, which kind of check did, would you like to make? A natural 20. Um, Ooh, natural 20. <laughs> that's the check he wants to make. Yeah, well, that's what that's... I'm yeah, really this... good at my scooter. I've been practicing for two weeks, y'all. <laughs> Describe the kinds of flips and ollies you do, bruh. <laughs> so, um, like your wildest X Games... Sin jumps up with one hand on the scooter handlebars, the other hand grabs the the leg of the mascot from Meepo, flips the fucking foot pad around like 300 times and does like a backflip and comes back down off of the uh, the curved foot of that tower and starts riding uh, back through the fog cloud that Meepo made. Dope. All right, Zilly and Lavinia. Okay, so do I have to do a skill check or a spell? Uh, so if you do a spell, you'd be giving Lavinia advantage on her skill check. Or if you do a third level spell or higher, it just counts as a successful ability check. Uh, there are three rounds, so you could potentially run out of third level spell slots. Okay, so... We already had someone cast a third level spell slot, so you can still do that. Right. Each it's it's the way that the you determine the winner is the team with the greatest number of successes is the winner. So you know. Okay. Okay. So then um, I am going to cast wind wall behind. Oh, I guess it'd be an advantage to Lavinia, but. Thematically, I'm going to cast it behind Sin to help push him towards our side. Even though it's... So know. somebody's close to catching up with Sin and you're able to cast this wind wall and kind of accelerate them like a fucking Mario Kart yes. thing, <laughs> like, towards the other side. I love it. Uh, all right, and wind wall is a third level spell, so that just counts as a success then. Boom. Zilly's first game of Mage Tower, y'all. Killing it. We're doing it. I'm trying to save Sergeant Hobbs. That's all she's thinking about right now. <laughs> uh, Lu- all right, yeah, Lavinia. <laughs> Sin changes into a dog face. And... Uh, so you'll have to remind me. Is it like a specific, like specific skills that we can use, or just any of them? It depends how you tell me you use that skill. Uh, could I flavor perception, uh, persuasion as faking somebody out without having to do a deception check? Mm-hmm. How? What are you trying to persuade them of, and who are you persuading? Someone on the other team. I don't know their names. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, there's Simber and Rutha and uh, Deanna and Krista and Tile and Winter. Distract Rutha with something about Meepo. Oh, yeah. She'll distract, uh, as she, like, maybe she spots Rutha and kind of goes, like, almost directly for, for her and then fades out of the way and be like, you know, Meepo's, like, really rooting for you. I hope you do your best. All right, uh, make me a persuasion check uh, to throw shade. Oh, dirty 20. No, wait, sorry, uh, 25. No, wait, 23, sorry. 23. <laughs> <laughs> Those are all very different numbers. Dirty I got 20. excited because like, Lavinia made a good roll. <laughs> you did, you did good. All right, wow, you guys all made really good rolls. Uh, all right, so... Uh, like Rutha's just about to uh you know grab uh sin as sin's getting across you know the last part to your guys' side and uh you kind of talking your trash she hesitates for a moment and sin is able to accelerate with the help of the wind wall and get away from Rutha and uh I I got to make some rolls here but I have imagine with the perfect score like Five out of six yep. points scored. You guys are probably going to take this first round here. I uh, imagine with the wind wall, Sin looks like Woody in Toy Story 1 when they're flying through the air <laughs> with a rocket. <laughs> oh my god. Your guys' average rolls were so high. We, we're, it's a good night, Nick. It's a good night for us. We deserve it. Except for Zilly's hit points. Otherwise, it's been a great night. That's true. We can talk about that. I failed, Zilly. I'm sorry. Let's see. That was one, two, three, four, five. I need to make one more. Oh, wait. No, that person cast a spell. Okay, so their rolls, you guys beat every single one of their rolls. It was 11, 19, 19. There was a 21 in there and a 17. But I think you guys beat almost every single one of those rolls. So, <laughs> holy crap. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, Coney Hall takes uh, the, the first, first round, round <laughs> as uh, as uh, Delta Gamma, their defense was severely lacking. Uh, Meepo coming out uh, with the broom was unexpected. Uh, Peter being as large as uh, it was was very unexpected and hard to manage. I'm still keeping concentration on that. Will that help in the next round? No. So I'll drop concentration on that. Uh, yeah, everything has to get reset for the next round. Okay. Yeah, each yeah. round is like 20 minutes, so... Oh, exactly. Shit. Yeah. Uh... So speaking of that, everything gets reset for round two. Uh, Meepo, as you're kind of getting reset, uh, Rutha says uh, to you, um, you know that trick's not going to work twice. Well, I hope not. Fool you once, shame on you. Fool you twice, shame on me. Or something like that. No, that's exactly how it goes. Did you put your headband back on? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do up your hair for this? Uh, maybe. I love these two. <laughs> Look, well, I think it looks nice. All right. Uh, well, I think you look. sound smart. <laughs> Team Huddle. Sorry Team that you're going to have to lose. Meepo, get over here. Quit talking to the enemy. Sorry, she's distracting me. Can, can you make her big? What does she look like? Who is this person? Rutha? Yeah. Which one's Rutha? Ooh. Oh no, she's hot. <laughs> she sure is. Hey, me. They're all hot. I yeah. Got, I, got, I got an idea. This hey, this whole team is pretty hot. Well, of course they're they're Prismari. <laughs> yeah. Like all the Prismari people hey, are pretty hot. She stole my hot. vibe. <laughs> I was like, go back to that last one. This one? Yeah. 
that one's been dealing drugs all over campus. What, what, what's Mushi doing here? <laughs> <laughs> she was a tiefling, though. <laughs> then there's this one. And this one. Oh, I love that one. Oh, no, I'm getting out. That one's going to live with Sergeant Hops in my room. That's a full blown owl in person. <laughs> Does not matter. <laughs> I'm a man. <laughs> You're mine now. It's mine. Ram him in that, that terrarium. <laughs> we need a bird cage. Hey, oh hey, my Meepo. god. Meepo. Come in close. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. What's up? I'm wondering if we, if, with your consent, if we want to pull a double Meepo deception. Well, I mean, I I was hoping maybe you didn't notice. I wasn't going to bring it up until later, but I think I spotted it too. I think Alistair got swapped out for one of the old mage hunters. <laughs> oh, wait, because of the facial hair? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think I would know if my best friend grew a beard. <laughs> Oh, I'm his best friend. Oh, you know what? I didn't. Yeah. It's kind of it's kind of dashing though. I mean, it looks great, but he doesn't need to attract any feminine wiles because he's already got a girl. That is absolutely right. He's trying too hard, Meepo. I'm telling you, these mage hunters—they're way off mark on this one. But you know. When the, when the game's over, we're going to have to find out what happened to Alistair. I agree. Win first, then solve the mystery. Right. I know it's uh, what Alistair would have wanted. He wouldn't want us to lose this one. It's for Alistair! For Alistair! <laughs> uh, Sin is going to turn into Meepo. Not this again. <laughs> Not this again. Yeah. All right. Uh, the round uh, starts. Uh, so this time the Prismari uh, group is going to get the jump on you guys uh, with uh, some very uh, uh, coordinated uh, effects of kind of putting up a wall of ice. Um, that they are then use the fire to kind of skate along. So, uh, I am effectively going to be using a third level spell, uh, to grant them one success. Oh, we just got frozoned. <laughs> <laughs> got him. Uh, and, uh, then I'm going to make some checks here. Oops, that didn't do what I wanted it to do. Huzzah! Well, that's only a 14. For the first acrobatics check. Can I take my action real quick? Yes, you can. So, as this wall of ice goes up, and Alistair has decided he's going to play defense basically this entire game, and he's falling back to the tower. He waits until he sees the first group use that ramp to try to get up to the tower. Mm -hmm. And he casts color spray at a third level to blind them and cause them to like slip slide back down the ice. All right. And that's going to be a success for Cody Hall. Oh, we should go two at a time. That's a really good idea. Uh, so who wants to go uh, for Cody Hall next? I want to go after Meepo so I can play off of his play. Greasy who Peter. Who wants to go with uh, Alistair here? Come on, Zilly. To be or be. <laughs> uh, I'll go. Go, Lavinia. Because I wanted to cast a spell anyways, which is kind of a little bit like Alistair's. <laughs> uh, I'd like to cast... Uh, does it have to be like a like a base third-level spell, or could I app cast as a third-level spell and get a you success? You can upcast. Uh, I think I'd like it's to cast for flavor. Level... Oh, sorry. You were saying? Oh, I was saying, I think it's for flavor. I think it's the spell slot is what triggers it, it but it you is. can flavor the spell that does the cool thing. 
Yeah, Correct. I want to cast third level blindness deafness. Okay. Uh, specifically deafness because that'll really disorient someone after like all this, you know, uh, all these spells going off. People like shout like talking to each other and stuff, and then it's suddenly just silent. That's a, that's a bit disorienting, I think. Yeah, is Lavinia on the offensive or on the defensive? I forget which means which. I'm going to be honest. Offense means you're going after the opponent. Defense means you're stopping them from getting your thing. Uh, Defense. She'll like be opposite Alistair on like the other side of the tower. Okay, perfect. Uh, all right. Well, uh, let's see here. Yeah, Lav Lavinia and Alistair are falling back to like keep the other team at bay while our mobile guys, Meepo and, and Sin, are out front. Yeah, you know, doing their craziness. Runners. Okay. Well, the next group of Prismari students are going to go, and uh, they are going really hard this time. As Rutha, um, she comes up, and she uh, casts this uh, gust of wind at a third level that just... Um, pushes Alistair and Lavinia just completely like out of the way and off of the tower. Um and that's gonna be a uh success for them as uh one of uh their other teammates is going to grab Peter and start running. I, I would as as Alistair goes flying back off the tower, like how how tall is this tower? Thematically, it 15? says forty feet. I oh think it God. said. Oh my They're God! They're tall. Okay, then uh, Alistair, while he's falling down, is going to like press to digitate some red sparks, and like throw the red flag because, according to the Mage Tower rules, anything that could cause damage to a participant, mascot, or spectator is oh. prohibited. Because she won't push you off. She just push you out of the way. Okay, sorry. Fine. Oh, was my my narrators uh I got too excited. Breath, breath. I was really looking for that technical foul. <laughs> Yellow card. <laughs> That's <laughs> technical. Uh all right. Uh which Cody call kids would like to go? Uh Meepo would like to go. He's going to like Having waited for them to take the offense on this one, he's going to try and harness that blast of air that got launched over towards him. Look over to Sin and say, hop on! And uh, he's going to cast Warding Wind to make this like deafening bubble of air, this cyclone, and he's going to use this vortex to just launch the two of them across the battlefield. And he's going to try and drop Sin off behind enemy lines over on the other side with a decent sleight of hands check for this one. So are you using the spell to give sin Spells advantage? Just for or... flavor, I'm okay. going for okay. it. Got it. All right. So go ahead and make me a sleight of hand check. Oh, that's an 18? Uh, you should have only gotten a straight roll, right? 18 was still the first. Yeah. Which is a success. Huzzah! Any, any bardix? <laughs> it's been 20 minutes. I can't use your bardic. You give me less room. Oh, then yes, I will. All right, it's Sin. Bring it home! All right, oh. Sin. What would you like to do? Yeah, what was the spell that Rutha cast again? Wind, uh, gust of Wind. Ooh, perfect. Uh, so Sin, as Meepo, uh, dropped behind Rutha from other Meepo, is going to go up well, with... Big... Rutha's on, on your guys' tower. Are you two oh. on the offensive? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought she did it from there and somebody else went up there and got it. Well, my deception didn't... Was it gonna work then? Uh, well, fuck it. Uh, I'm gonna just acrobatics... You know what? I'm gonna stealth. With the distraction and the the uh, delta drop in, I'm gonna sneak up the backside of the tower and stealth up and try to sneak and get it first. All right, make me a stealth check. All right, I'll roll my d6 first. Yes. Wow. 
Oh, it was on a 20. Uh, but that's a 21. 21. That's a success. So you are able to successfully sneak up to the top of the tower and grab uh, the mascot and you start climbing back down. Uh, the uh, Delta Gammas react uh, very quickly as uh, one of them is, uh, is going to try to uh, just sleight of hand it away from you uh, with the help of the other casting a spell to aid them uh that is gonna be a success uh they're able to kind of just like knock it it's they knock it out of your hand sin but unfortunately you drop it and the mascot starts it's going down which is the opposite of the direction the prismari kids want it to go but it is no longer in your possession uh as uh that brings us to the cody kids turn so let's see uh we, who hasn't gone zilly and tasha yeah um let me look at my character tasha can i cast a spell and go for the ball at the same time yeah i let the... meepo do it but it doesn't give you advantage it would just be for flavor Okay. Um, is Zilly back? Is Zilly back? If not, we could take like a five minute break. Sure. You need a five minute break? We could take a five minute break. That'd be excellent. Sure. Five minute break. Right. Time to refund the drink. You know what the funny thing is? The score for this round right now stands at 4-4. Four to four. After you trounced them in the first round. I guess you didn't trounce them. It was 4-5 to five in the first round. <laughs> But it was it, they they lost that one still. I will be right back. Okay. All right, I am back, and I have brought Oreos with me. Oh, I'm jealous. Here, I'll share. Oh, thanks. <laughs> uh, so it's going to be Zilly and oh, yeah. Tasha are going to be our next two up. Uh, right now, currently, it stands four to four in the round. 
Uh, and uh, you two need to be on offense, narratively speaking. So you want to try to be getting there, mascot Eminem. Okay, so then can I try and make a run for it or wherever he is to try and assist? Can I do an animal handling check? Absolutely. Oh, what is with my rolls today? <sighs> well, uh, that, that's a failure. So You're describe welcome, guys. Like, You're welcome. The druid well, is not good with animal handling, turns out. Describe what, what Zilly does try to do. <laughs> she goes after the wrong mascot because they look very similar. I assume. Tasha is going to try with an investigation, try to like look for a path between the opponents that's optimal and I can get through the clearest. Well, thank you, Tasha. <laughs> You guys did great. Thank you. Nick, did you mute yourself again? What? Why is Zilly rolling animal handling? Look, guys. <laughs> I got distracted by thinking about Sergeant Cobbs and I went for the wrong mascot. Are we allowed to kick her off the team now? I thought a plus seven would be decent. I was wrong. Oh, but wait, wait. Can I use my luck feet to re-roll that? Yeah, you can. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. I'm going to do that. That's why I did that. Okay. How's 23? 23 is really good. So the two of you, uh, that's going to bring you to six points for the round. So describe to me how the two of you work together to kind of get Eminem across the battlefield, uh, because that is going to win this match for Cody Hall. Oh, man. Uh, so how does Zilly and Tasha work together? And remember, Eminem is currently like falling down the tower after he got knocked loose from uh, Meepo and Sin. Mm -hmm. oh, God. Tasha's gonna um, pretty much just start running through them, trying to dodge them, staying out of reach as they all focus on her. So Zilly can... Um, Run fast. I can turn into an animal and run really, really fast to catch it falling from the air. Oh, there you go. What do you turn into? Oh, I don't know. How about a giant badger? Sure. Why the hell not? <laughs> or a panther. Panther has 50. It's faster. Panther's faster. We'll go panther. Oh, all right. Panther Zilly rushes across, grabs the, uh, the mascot, and rushes back to Cody Hall's side. Um, and I think, yep, that is just going to be an easy match one for Cody Hall. As the crowd goes wild, uh, Cody Hall has soundly defeated uh, Delta Gamma in the first official match of the battle for Strixhaven. Uh, oh, yeah. After, uh, during kind of all the commotion, uh, Rutha comes up to you, Meepo, and she says, well, I suppose that was a fun match, uh, but we are defeated. And you see as the, all of the Delta Gamma people all kind of give a bow, like you would at the end of a performance. Meepo's going to meet that bow. Alistair also bows back. 
I'm not going to lie. The way that you guys just whipped it right back at us in that first round, I, oh, you scared the hell out of me. We were close. Uh, we really wanted to come back and, and beat you. You know, it's hard to when a lot of our magic, you know, does cause some damage. It makes it difficult to play this game sometimes. You just want to melt your opponent, and you're not allowed to. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to have a rematch off school grounds. Ooh, I would very much enjoy that. That could be fun. That could be fun. I'm going to pass on that one. Thanks. Huh? Oh, sorry, she, never mind. She, like, when you say something, you realize, like, she was did not even realize you were standing there. <laughs> <laughs> How about the other Meepo? He's a little breakable. All right. Well, great job, Cody Hall. Uh, as you move to the finals of the battle for Strixhaven. Yeah. Uh, is there anything anyone would like to do, uh, you know, here on the pitch? Or at the stadium uh, this night. I mean, I feel like Meepo should be leading us at a cheer, personally. Meepo would like to, like, kind of join in with the cheer squad after our victory gets announced. And he's going to try and, like, draw up the other crowd members of the school. And he's going to start trying to hype up this party that's happening at the Zeta Beta house tonight. And he's going to make a party happen at the Zeta Beta house tonight. <laughs> I will aid in the Meepo deception. Interesting. Like and, like, perform in front of these people. Give them a show to hype up the crowd. To make a party happen. Uh, so since like, to make enough people show up <laughs> that there's a party. <laughs> Is this going to be a performance, a deception? What are we talking here? Either performance or persuasion works for me, or deception. It's all plus seven for me. Can I cast Enhance Ability and do Eagle Splendor so he has advantage on charisma checks? Sure as fuck can. <laughs> uh, Sin is going to use deception and be like, party at the Zeta Beta house, party at the Zeta Beta house, as little Meepo running through the crowd and just deceiving as many people as can hear how do I make a roll for an entire group of people? <laughs> like just percentile? enough need to show up to make a party happen. Uh, 100 people, percentile die. <laughs> That's percentile, true. Just see how many fail. percentage of the crowd is like interested in it. You can't decide if that's good or bad. Let me think. <laughs> well, if there's like... 40,000 people here or something. I mean, yeah. 40,000 is a lot of people. That's a lot of people in one house. I mean, you get Mark, about, I can yeah, see you sitting right there. I better see you. Most people are like, yeah, sure. Party at a, you know, sorority house I'm in, right? So you you think a, a decent number of people might show up, you know, to, to whatever you're trying to do? Excellent. I need to go fix a map. <laughs> I mean, what were we trying to do at the house again? <laughs> I'm well, drawing a blank. We're trying to break in to find out what the heck's going yeah, we're, on we're in there. We're storming the mission. house. Stealth mission. Got it. Yeah, so if there's a party happening, that's going to be our distraction so that we don't have to split up. So that we're not risking just a couple of us getting mm -hmm. caught. We're all in this together. Uh, so <laughs> is everyone going over to the Zeta Beta house after yep. the, the match? Yep. Sure. Right before we get in. Nico just said it's all or nothing, so. Yep. <laughs> I think there's something in the girl code about this. If not, Tasha, you can add it.
Are we allowed to add things to the girl code? I mean, if Rachel's it, not here. Yes. Uh, Killian shows up and and he uh, says, "Yeah, go have fun with your friends." Rule number sixty-two. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. Great match. Uh, Killian just showed up and, and gave them a girl code number. Oh, did we win? Yep. Yeah, we did. Oh, okay. <laughs> Luvinia completely blacked out. Wait, we won? <laughs> she was just so into it. Like, oh <laughs> god, we have to win this because then we can't go any further into the battle for Strixhaven. Y'all are in the finals now. And uh, you missed the part where Meepo, uh, using Two persuasion Meepos. with the help of uh, a second Meepo and of Zilly, uh, is spreading rumors that there's a party at the Zeta Beta house tonight. Oh, okay. I'm going to call myself Zippo. <laughs> it's not a rumor, it's a prediction. And we're going to make it come true. Right. We learned how augury works. <laughs> oh, oh, should we get Chad involved? <laughs> I mean, he does have get a Chad larger to post social... on his he has social a larger media. social media, media presence than all of you. Right? Sin, Sin's going to put in a call. Uh, Chad doesn't pick up oh shit when was the last time you posted uh you see that the last thing that he posted was him uh on his way out to the Lorehold campus so you think he might be hanging out with Kieran right now which means he and probably she isn't... made him put the crystal away okay, <laughs> okay. he's in safe hands then is he? Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> He's safe from himself. Uh, all right. Um, so you all uh, head over to the Zeta Beta Mansion. There is a little bit of a crowd out front of the mansion, uh, as uh, you know, a few of like uh, specifically, Felissa is out front. Um you know say just telling people like that there's no party she has no idea what they're talking about uh as uh all of you uh show up the thing about college parties is you know if enough people show up it's a party whether you want it or not all right so if everybody's got them Paying attention to the front entrance. You guys want to try to sneak around the back? I am so ready. Wait, uh, Lavinia, you, you said you left a window open, right? I mean, I don't, I'm sure they would have closed it by now. Um, if, so and the window we jumped out of was on the second story. Oh, shucks. Before we all go in, I'm going to cast Pass Without a Trace on everyone. Well, no one's getting in right now. Well, <laughs> well they were just talking about sneaking in through the back, so I want to make sure. Ooh, concert. Uh, Aurora, uh, she'll, she'll answer the phone when you call her, Alistair. She says, hi, hi Alistair, what's up? Hey, Aurora. So... Wait. She was at the the match. Yeah, I'm assuming she was at the at the yeah, match. Yeah, no, uh, she'd probably just be with you guys. Um, so I, I turned to her and I'm like, "Hey, you know what? I think it would be awesome. Like, do you think you could get your band together and you could like play here in front of the in front of the house? And it's going to be a big party. It'd be great exposure. Are you sure? They look really annoyed. Yeah, but that's part of the fun." It's just resting Zeta Beta face. Don't you guys like not even get along with them? Like, why are we here? We're here because they've been, well, they've been giving out all these crystals and trying to like 
do all this stuff to make themselves seem so nice and awesome and stuff. And we know they're up to something. So we're just going to play along. If they want to be the most popular place in the, on, on the campus, then let's make them the most popular place on the campus. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, okay, I'll go try to get the band together. And she, like, grabs her crystal and starts making phone calls. Uh, Felissa, you can hear her shouting, I don't care, you could use our lawn, that's fine, but nobody is coming inside this house. And she, like, goes back inside and she slams the door. Wow, they really are lame. Alistair's going to start, like, figuring out what he needs to do to help prep to have this lawn concert. And, you know, if he needs to go, like, get speakers or set up, you know, amplifiers or any of that kind of stuff, he's going to well, get you on have that. A, you have a friend named Tasha. Exactly. Well, Meepo, you've got a broom, so we don't have to go in on the ground floor. Well, I could take another Meepo up with me. Yeah, buddy. Question, though. I have nothing to do if we run into that tentacle monster pretending to be Bargo. That's a fair point. I would point. prefer to have numbers in our favor if we're going in. Well, what if we carry a rope with us and drop it down to them and I can pull people up? All right. You're the smart one here, Meepo. Make sure I'm making sense. Well, I don't care how we break into this place, if I'm being honest. I'm all good with just smashing through a window, but... I figured uh, we should probably be a little bit sneakier on this attempt. So, we could try the back door or wherever that window is at. Okay, so what, what is it exactly that we're looking for when we get in there? Because didn't they already break in and found things with no answers? I have a feeling that there's like a layer or something, maybe a basement that they weren't able to explore. There was also another floor that they didn't get to. Right, Nick? There's a there's a third floor to this place. Yeah, there is a third floor to this yeah, place. They didn't explore the third floor, and I I think that there's a basement. What? Okay, but what are we looking for in there? Just anything or Yeah? Anything uh, mysterious and out of place? We're also trying to find out what happened to Margo. Margo Polo? No, you're obsessed. <laughs> Can I turn into a small mouse? Yeah. I don't know what you can do. I don't either. <laughs> yes, druids have that ability. You could certainly turn into a small mouse if you want. If I turn into a small mouse, can I try and sneak inside and look around so we're not breaking in and getting ourselves caught and hopefully not being caught as a mouse? Or a spider? Can I be a spider? Uh, a small? Yeah, my... Actually, even a mouse might be too small because I don't think you could turn into tiny creatures until a higher level as a druid. Now that I think about it, okay, see, see, learning, really, learning really? here. Uh, uh, let me see. Yeah, it's I based think... on CR. <laughs> no, but tiny creatures specifically. You can't be swarms. Yeah. I know that. Uh, I'll be a swarm of bees, bitches. <laughs> also, can't fly, right? Right. That's like yeah. an eighth level. 
Oh no, I guess th- I thought there was a thing about that's spies. in the D and D one. That's an eleventh level ability in the playtest, I think. <laughs> uh, okay. So I can be a mouse or a spider. Yeah, yeah. you can absolutely yeah, be a mouse or a spider. You just have just one hit point. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> That's fine. You know, I'm sure it's fine. Sure, it's fine. Yeah. Able to crawl around undetected. I mean, you have to make me stealth checks based on a mouse's stats. What can I do? Oh god. Oh, I need to find mouse stats. Hold on. I mean, uh, do you have any means of communicating with us as a mouse? I don't speak rodent. Hi, Jeremy. <laughs> Bye, Jeremy. Good luck. Bye, everybody. Hopefully, I can just fix it quick and come back. Good All luck, right. Jeremy. Good Hopefully. luck, buddy. Let's see. The, well, the giant rat is a has its own stat block of seven hit points, so you can go ahead and use those stats. And we'll just say it has one hit point since you're a regular size mouse. Okay, okay, giant mouse. Are you going to communicate this plan with anyone else, or are you just oh, going to do no, it? Definitely, definitely going to tell people first. No, I'm just going to fucking mouse it. Um, <laughs> no, as, as after they're talking about like just smashing through windows and stuff, uh, Zilly will come over and. Um, guys, I mean, not that you know they don't deserve their windows to be smashed in, but if stealth is what we're going for, why don't why don't I run in there real quick, uh, real small, like, and see if um, see if maybe maybe I can see anything that way we we would at least have a direction to go in, maybe. All right. Uh, how? Sneaky are you? I mean this in this the most polite way I possibly can. You're very noticeable. Oh well, thank you. Um but I could be what are they? I can I can well if you do pass without a trace and I can enhance ability, I don't think anybody's gonna ever find you. <laughs> Alright, let's do it that way. Well, yeah, so I can do, I can have advantage. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I feel, you know what? I feel like I could be really sneaky, like pretty, pretty sneaky. Awesome. Well, I could definitely get a mouse up to that second floor window if it's still open. <laughs> You're just going to chuck it. <laughs> I was going to float you up there. I just set you down on the window sill. Uh, yeah, open I up the window and make the it through the window from here. <laughs> I mean, so I mean, I could just, chuck yeah. it, yeah. No, no, I don't know if I could survive that. I mean, um, she has the same kind of thing that any mouse can do. Mice can fit into very small places. So yeah, they can like, dislocate all their door. bones and stuff. It's weird. Yeah, see, so if you hit the wall on the off chance I miss, you'll probably be fine. <laughs> no, I, I think floating was a good idea. I could, I could even probably just run up the wall if I need to. Um... But yeah, um, I'm gonna. I, I don't know if I'll be able to talk to you guys though after I change. So. So we should establish some sort of a code. Like if it if it's all clear, you give one squeak. If, if there's trouble, give us <laughs> two squeaks. If if there's three guards, give us three squeaks. If if it's the second door on the right, give us four squeaks. What if there are two guards? Oh, yeah, that should be five squeaks. What else? Okay, guys? so three guards is three squeaks, and two guards is five squeaks. And the right door is four squeaks? That's right. Second door to the right. Second, oh god, what's what the first the, door? What if it's the first door to the left? I think seven squeaks should do it for that. Or maybe an interpretive mouse dance. 
Oh, that's a good point. I would say just go do what you got to do. And if you get in trouble, transform <laughs> back into yourself and yell for help. But you could squeak and that could communicate it even faster. <laughs> even yeah. after you transform. Okay. Um, well, how about how about I just go scout it out and I come back and I just tell you guys everything that I find. If I run into trouble, then then you guys will hear the squeaks. So how about I only squeak if there's trouble? I mean, I like that plan. I, I I'm with like what exactly is, are we having her look for? I don't, I don't... Le Lavinia and I found a lot already in Margot's room. What else do you think she's going to find in there? And how is she supposed to be getting into an attic or basement as a rat? I can just squeeze through tight spaces. That's what I do. That's what rats do. They're in all the walls. There's got to be rat holes. There's, oh, God. What if I run into actual rats, though? Oh, no. Who knows? You may find the rat of your dreams. <laughs> what if you never want to come back? What if you just become one of the rats? I just feel like this is a better option than everyone just running in their guns ablaze and looking for God knows what. At least I can do a scout out, see that there is or isn't anything else to look for, and then we can just call it a day and take what we have and run with it. It wouldn't be the first time I broke into somewhere. All right, so what's the plan then? <laughs> I think Rachel's put a bad bug in our head. Why? Because I'm paranoid as fuck over the Zeta Beta house. I'm not even sure what we are looking for. I don't I, either. I, I, I want to find I, like, I don't know what we're looking for, but was I just it, was don't it think Kirin that either. asked us to go back and look again? If I could link the picture of the Mage Hunter, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for a Mage Hunter? Or any signs of crystals? Because like, well, every, the everyone has a deep. crystal. Oh, right, we were looking for like, the hub, right? Like where the was that at the Zeta Beta house? The hub is, is that where the yeah, tower is? Yeah, I mean it, the the tower is nearby. Yeah, it's it's right next to the Biblioplex. I really don't think we had a good reason. To come back. I'm pretty sure Kieran asked us to do it, so we said we would. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, we still have to find the real Margo. Maybe she's locked up somewhere in there. No, that's, the... yeah. Because the Margo was a shadow creature? She was well, Killian mentioned there were a few floors you didn't search. But do we really think she would be locked up in there and none of the other students realize that they have a hostage in there? Well, they're all kind of zombified when they're in the house. Also, are they? Like... But they, they aren't zombified. They were just doing chores. As you guys are all kind of standing around talking, uh, Greta comes up carrying like some heavy equipment oh, for the wow. concert. And she's like, hey, Lavinia! Hey, Alistair! Hey, Aurora! Where else are you setting this stuff up at? And uh, just to remind you guys, you guys are kind of the center of this party. So yeah. you guys, you Somebody just has to like won. actually host the party. Yeah, I, I'm, <laughs> and I'm still trying to set up the, the party stuff. Oh, yeah, they're over there! Perhaps, perhaps we settle for mild annoyance tonight, and we come back when we have a better idea of what we're doing. I mean, I'm fine with just having a party. Let's just have a party, you guys. I'm hard to all the best of the best. As you guys have uh, one party in front of Zeta Beta. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Sin, is, Sin is going to use this as an opportunity, a business opportunity, and uh, hand out business cards with small little bags of green stuff to people. Sin, I mean, make me a perception check while you're kind of navigating yeah. the crowd this late at night. Which teacher do I run into? <laughs> you think you catch a glimpse of someone? familiar kind of standing off near the woods oh. near zeta beta but you didn't quite get a look but you got a you got kind of this you know familiar feeling oh let me just you, slide slide slippity side on the side and see what i see 
yeah. So as you go to kind of investigate uh, the woods uh, nearby, uh, you kind of uh, make your way a little bit uh, in into the woods, and uh, yeah. familiar, rugged individual makes himself <clears throat> known to you and he says uh uh he uh, uh what was the last conversation you had with him it's a while ago oh but uh he uh so he he just kind of comes out from behind a tree kind of scares the shit out of you because you did not yeah. roll super high on that perception check. But uh, he just kind of pops out and he says, is this a good time for us to talk? Oh, perfect time. I was just doing some social networking. I could see that. Uh, have you managed to gather any information on the subjects we spoke of? That is a good question. I think I did, but I don't know where that's at in my notes. My notes are garbage when it comes to that kind of stuff. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna need a reminder, Nick. I can't recall what we talked about last. I think he was just talking to you about planeswalker bullshit. I think so. I think he was basically just asking you to spy for him, if yeah, I remember right. Yeah, so I, I, I've done a little bit. Um, so there's three others, uh, sorry, four others that I know of in uh, my dorm. Um, one, uh, The new one uh, is from uh, Dominaria, I believe. Very interesting. They got a strange mechanical arm. I guess they fused with some kind of uh, strange metal crystalline structure thing. Yeah, it made it like a cannon or something on their arm. What's the name of this individual? Uh, Tasha. Interesting. I've met somebody like that. Yeah, uh, she's pretty cool. Um, powers are pretty cool. Um, nothing more on the twins. They're kind of secluded. Twins? Keeping themselves. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, Rowan and Bill. Will. Will. Kenrith. Kenrith. Thank you. God, I can never remember their last name. Kenrith. Uh, they're, um, they're twins and one has ice powers one has fire powers yeah interesting so there's four of you in that hall together she must be putting you near each other yeah that's what and I you, think. you see like when he's talking he's like constantly looking around and like on alert I can't stop looking at the chiseled jaw. Uh, he says, so that puts seven of us on the plane at the same time. Interesting. Yeah. You know, um, really interesting. Have you ever heard of mage hunters? Yes. Very yeah. noble creatures. Right. How are they noble? Well, any creature that has the predatory instincts and the abilities that they possess, while I could understand how one such as yourself might see them as misunderstood creatures, uh, they have a very primal uh, reason for being the way that they are, and they are effective at what they do. It could be admired. Oh, it's it's very, very uh, admirable what they do. 
for sure. It's just a little frightening when they're coming after you and you don't know how to control this planeswalker spark thing. And, you know, I don't want to die because there's still more work to do. That's interesting. Would you care for some help along this journey? From you? From those that I associate with. I oh, yeah. I would like to invite you to join the ranks of the Orik. I think I've heard of that before. Right? That's his 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 order. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, that's awesome. I'd love to. Now you have to understand. This means you'll be joining an organization that has a goal of bringing down Strixhaven and its founders. Oh, that's good, because I'm kind of already doing that anyway. Do you know how susceptible the children of this university are to narcotics? Their whole, their whole system is being torn asunder from the inside out. Interesting. Tell me more. Uh, go into detail about the drug trade. <laughs> mm. This is very good information. Yeah, not only that, as I've set up, I've set up myself as a delivery person, uh, a very reputable delivery person, uh, and so far, students and uh, some of the faculty has used my services. So I've kind of got an in to just about any location. There's a couple that are a little reticent to let me in, but I'm working my way. Mm. This is uh, information that the Overlord will be interested in hearing. Would you... I suppose I will uh, be able to set up a meeting between you and the Overlord uh, for... It will probably be after your semester is finished, while you are on break. That works for me, as long as I can make it to there, yeah. Well, for one as talented as yourself, a mage hunter shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little slippery. Uh, do you have one of these crystal thingies? Been pretty useful ever since I picked one up. Yeah, I d Hey, can I get your vibe? Uh, I think it's called a resonance. That, yeah, the, the kids call it a vibe because it's like not. Yeah, it's a resonance. Oh, uh, and he has like one of those kind of like, you know, old person moments where he's like, yeah, I, you can, I give you my vibe. Uh, here, just hand me yours, hand me yours. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> let, um, let, me, let me do the technology so, so for do you. So do I push this button right here or enter voice command? Uh, what? No, no uh, shit. Uh, no, it. It does not recognize voice commands. Sin is going to sidle up and get real close, like uncomfortably close and, and like do what uh, Kaderis had done to her for the bow and just glide his hands through uh, the menus and get the contacts and everything. Anytime you get like too like kind of like sensual with it, he like kind of like slaps your hand. He's like, stop that. <laughs> what? No. At just show me the phone thing. Right, 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 right. So you go over here, and I, uh, I go ahead and do it for him. Just fuck with him a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna put uh, this guy on edge. <laughs> uh, all right, and you now have Luca's contact information in a creepy way. Nice. <laughs> all right. Uh, is there anything else anyone else would like to do at the? Partay. Uh, I'm just helping set the concert up. All right, perfect. Urzmek talk does come over and hang out with 
Uh, Zilly. And, no there. and uh, at the party, uh, Meepo Rutha actually shows up. Cool beans. Uh, she comes up and she finds you and uh, she says, so they uh, didn't actually let you in? Well, I guess they, uh, they're they a bit being soil, soil sports seeing as how we were kicking so much butt at these events lately. Anyways, I don't know what stick got shoved up their rear ends, but yeah, they're being real sticks in the mud about this whole ordeal. Are you so okay? we just decided that we're going to keep on uh, partying without their consent then, and we're just going to throw the concert here out here on the lawn. Oh, okay. Well, that's count me in. I'll get a drink or two. Uh, hey, I was wondering, what kind of stuff do you do like for creativity? Like, I don't think I have ever seen you create anything. <laughs> well, honestly... I do a whole lot of my best work with illusions and such. And he's going to just, like, throw up a dragon's head right in front of us at the middle of the party, and it's just going to spout out flames up into the air, both as just like a party favor, but also because he's gotten particularly good at this specific dragon's face with the LARPing. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so he's going to drop this illusion. You know, just simple stuff like that. And so whenever I'm done with whatever I'm crafting, I get to just, you know, flick my hands and... And then the dragon head just, like, vanishes just like that. And it just goes away afterwards. No cleanup necessary. And no evidence left behind. Hmm. I wonder if we could make a permanent art installation out of an illusion. That would be interesting. Ooh. That would be unique. Is that something you'd like to work on? That is definitely something I would like to invest some time in. Uh, at that very moment, Rosie comes up running up to you, Meepo. She's like, hey, Meepo, I saw that you were putting up our dragon head. Is Right? Isn't that so cool? How's it going, Rosie? Oh, Have it's you going met really Ruta? good. Shit, this is the team no. the captain of the Delta Gamma Sorority Mage Tower team. We just face we just showed off with showed down with them this afternoon. That's what the whole cause of this party's for. Oh, well, Rosie Miffin Bip was a Fulham's at your service. <laughs> uh are you are you a friend of me friend of Meepo's? Uh, she kind of looks at you, Meepo, and waits for a response. I, I think so. I'm, I'm glad that she came in after the party after that. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're, uh, fr friends? What are we, Meepo? Well, I mean, Rosie's gotten me through a number of some of the tougher tests that we scored off with. And she certainly helped me kind of come out of my shell with the LARP club, guild, community, whatever it is, the LARPing club. That's right. That's me, Meepo's best friend, Rosie. Yeah, Rosie's the one that helped me craft that dragon head so well. That making the fire look so realistic was her. Oh, so are you two like a thing? I mean, like, we're in the same class and and things. I mean, Rosie kind of just like, I mean, we, we haven't. No. Oh, okay. Uh, well, uh, great. Well, Meepo, Ruta, I would... Ruta, we only have one relationship point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, then, you know, uh, Meepo, I've, I've uh... I'm excited to work together with you on, on our project then. <laughs> uh, all right. So that wasn't awkward at all. 
Uh, is there anything else anyone would like to do before? Let's see how much time we got left. Yeah, we're going to do study session and the test, I think, is what I want to get finished. Oh. Oh, oh, I assume we're kind of like fast forwarding past the party. Unless there's anything else you'd like to do at the party. Is there anything you'd like to do at the party? Oh, not not me. I was waiting to see if anybody else wanted to do anything at the party. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Is there anything else quick, anyone wanted to do? Quick question first. Uh, how do you spell that group that you said? The Oric? Oh, I put it in the chat. It's O. Oh, you're not in the chat. No, sorry. It's just O R I Q. It's the Oric. Oric. Okay. They're very French. How does Tasha smell after two weeks? Oh, she oreeks. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'll be here all week. Magical tinkering power, and you couldn't develop Axe body spray. Uh, but uh, at the party, if he's there, Lavenia would like to spend some time with Killian. Oh, yeah. I mean, because Killian went to your match, so he is absolutely there. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, he came down to the field and was, uh, you know, mentioned a girl code when everyone was talking about throwing the party. Ah. Summer was away when you I, did that. I, I was away. <laughs> Number 62, go have fun with your friends. And maybe see if she can weasel him into a keg stand with Greta. You want me to if do what? <laughs> uh, I mean, I mean, you, you don't have to, but Greta theme, seems to think it's like, uh, what was it you you, you said, Greta? She's she's gonna like kind of yell over to her. It's a rite of passage or something like that. That's right. Come over here, you little scrawny boy. Let's get you up here. Well, uh, stand. Stand. I guess Keg this stand. applies to, and he like pulls up like the, he flips over his notebook to like the back page <laughs> and he's like, don't be a bitch. Uh, oh wait, hold on. That's something to somebody else. No, there's gotta be something in here to get me out of this. Uh, no one leaves a girl behind to party. Oh no, that, that means I have to do it. <laughs> Exactly, and I won't leave you behind. I'll I'll make sure you don't fall over. Don't worry, okay. Lavinia will hold your hair back when you get sick. All right. Well, Killian doesn't exactly have the highest constitution, um. So we're gonna we're gonna roll for his constitution saving throw on this uh <laughs> this year keg stand. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Be before he does, let me check this real quick. The sin is gonna take off their helmet and. Put it on Killian's Sin's head. out in the forest talking to, oh, a, to an old oh, man. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I was going to make a 69 well, joke. A... <laughs> will Killian have to make a saving throw for this? Uh, only because he has a weak constitution and this is the first time he's ever done it. Uh, I'd like to cast Bless on him. Okay. <laughs> Just to hope, hope that he, he gets a d4 to a saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will add a D4 to that. All right, I, I made his roll. I will add two to it. Uh, so uh, Greta and you like hoist Killian up by the ankles and, you know, he starts chugging and like not, it's like maybe, you know, six seconds into it and he's you know he's gotten a few gulps down but then he just starts like spinning up the beer and he's like i can't i can't do it anymore <laughs> and you put him down and his like the whole front of him's kind of covered in beer and he's like that was not graceful they usually aren't i Why? mean greta does them pretty well but she's kind of seasoned yeah, you're fine, skinny boy. And she, like, slaps Killian on the back. And she's like, okay, I can kind of see why you like him. And then he, Killian kind of, like, you know, coughs a little. He's like, oh. 
uh yeah I'm not used to that um thanks hope is i that made a, is that what? a genuine thanks i i mean that was a little more fun than i thought and i wouldn't have done that if i wasn't with you so yeah thanks for the uh new experience I have never done a keg stand before, and now I have. You can check it off, I don't know, the, a, a list or something. You know, I, I would it be dorky to say I had a list of college experiences that I wanted to get through? Uh, No, I don't think it would be. Oh, good, because I do have a list, so I'm going to check this one off of it. <laughs> Well, sorry you got, got, like, stuff all over you. Uh, you know, it's okay. You just have to, uh, you know, clean it or take it off later. You could come back to Cody Hall to clean up if you wanted to. Uh, yeah, I, I, I do want that. All right, cool. We could like leave now, or we could leave whenever. Yeah, let's go now. <laughs> All right, let me just. She's gonna look around to like flag one of the Cody kids down. And be like, "Yo, I'm going." I think like Alistair is the only one that's really around. <laughs> oh, did everyone else leave? Oh, Alistair's BRB is Zilly back. Is... I'm back. Oh, okay, Zilly's around. Her and Earth's Mick Talk are hanging out. We're drinking. We're drinking a couple beers. There's a scooter that's been listening to all the conversations. <laughs> it's a highly it intelligent did. scooter. It, it just randomly disappeared, right? Sin yep. did just randomly disappear. Could I make could Lavinia make a perception check to try to spot them? Sure. That is a twenty-two. I mean, you got a really good check. You see the scooter, but you don't see Sin. Yeah, that could mean, and well, it is a little weird to see the scooter and not see Sin, because usually if Sin was making a delivery, the scooter would be with them. So it's a little strange. Mm. She'll 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 shoot uh Sin like a uh, just a checkup text like you good. At what point am I being creepy with Luca? Does that message come through? Like, right when you've got the vibe and everything. Like, you've got his number saved, and then you get this text from Lavinia. Hey, do you mind if I get your picture, or is that a no-go? That's a no-go. Damn. All right. Can I take a picture of your mount? No. Damn. All right. Uh, I'll say a quick message. Sad face. Uh, I'm with... Uh, window boy uh if you need my scooter you could take it home <laughs> now you understand that joining the orig is a it's a secret organization and that you need to uphold that secrecy right oh 100 percent. Are, are you sure because you're asking about taking pictures and things like that i want to make sure you understand the nature of this secret organization oh 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 Right, right. The organiz I see, I I thought the organization as a whole was a secret and, and I, I know that you're part of the organization. I get it now. That makes sense. Are you sure? Oh, hundred percent. Got it locked in. We're good. Okay. Cause I'm a little worried that you're you're not understanding secret organization. I'm a part of a very this is important to me. I got it. Okay. Are you so what sure? are you doing no. next Saturday? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, are you going to continue talking to Luca out in the woods or are you going to head back? No, no, I'm going to head back. But I, I did send the, uh, the text to Lavinia and if they want to use the scooter, they can. It will take them where they want to go. 
Yeah, she'll leave it for a second. They can walk back to the hall. Damn. Saw through my ploy. It, uh, Tasha's back? Tasha's back. I'm back. Back again. Back again. Uh, well, hey, Tasha, at the uh, lawn party, uh, Quintilius comes up to you. And uh, he says, uh, hey, uh, hey, Tasha, I uh, heard all the uh, commotion about your your little or not little your your big win uh, against uh, uh, Delta Gamma. Uh, there's some pretty talented, uh, you know, people. So that's a big deal. Thought for you to compliment other people's talent. Well, I mean, you know, I respect those that have earned my respect, and they are all very accomplished performers. Um, speaking of performance, um, the uh, Play Actors Drama Guild is going to be putting on a performance of Death of an Ancient, and I was just wondering, since you're the best at it, if you would want to run tech for us? Like you used to? One moment. Frankie, stop working at... Frankie, get down from the window. No. No, my sweet girl, stop. Okay. Um. I... I I have missed it. I'm not gonna lie. Um. Running everything. And it's... I missed watching you perform. It would be a good chance to get that back, I... I think I can. When's the... When do you start doing uh, rehearsals? Uh, next week. I can be by. Um, unless it interferes with this... Uh, Mage Tower event. And then I have to put priority in that. Uh... For my hall. If you must, I understand you have prior engagements. I, myself, uh, have given all of my dedication to the stage, so I, I'm i doing it again, aren't I? She's smiling softly. Yeah, but I enjoy it when you do it. Uh, uh, well, uh, I... I it is you know, most... for a silver tongue, you sure are stuck on your words. I do seem to be a little tongue-tied right now. Oh, uh, I uh, will uh, see myself out. Uh, I'll see you uh, at auditions. I'll see you at auditions. Bye, Quint. Bye, Tasha. Uh... Is there anything else anyone would like to do at the party? Nah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good with that. Okay. Well, the next day, uh, in the morning, there is a loud, loud knocking at the front of Cody Hall. Who is going to get up and go answer the door? Since oh, that'll be too me. Loud ah. <laughs> Alistair, are you the early bird? Yeah, I'm usually the one who's getting up first. If Alistair's even there. Oh. Uh, if <gasps> anyone would answer the door. She's definitely there. Because it's fake Alistair. That's why he says that. <laughs> Alistair. Well, I like the idea of Lavinia <laughs> answering the door because Lavinia at standing at the door is somebody who is fairly familiar to you, but not in a personal sense. Okay. Uh this is uh Ambrose Lou, the Dean of Shadow, oh. and Killian's Killian father. Oh god. <laughs> and he's upstairs. <laughs> Oh. Uh, oh. 
Uh, and he, as you as open you the open door, he door. says, "Good morning. I believe uh, good. you are Miss uh, Luvinia. Are you not?" That is correct. Good morning, uh, Lu- Mr. Dean Luther. I am looking for my son. I understand I... he has been spending time with you. Uh, yes, I will. I'll, I'll go grab him for you. Uh, you could come in if you'd like. There's coffee. He uh, comes in and you can see like he's wearing like, you know, his uh, black gloves and his whole, you know, Dean get up. And he is uh, just kind of slowly walking around, arms folded, examining. Um... Wait, so he's like in just normal ass fancy clothes. I guess that's not normal, but... <laughs> I mean, there, there. It's it's normal for him to be dressed up like all the way like dressed up, which he is. Like he's got a flowing cloak on. He's got like the high collar, the ruffles, and like the. Professor he's very fest. Yeah, he's very nicely dressed, and it looks very rich. And very out of place for Cody Hall. <laughs> exactly. That's the kind of person that's uh, definitely judging uh, your kitchen right now. And absolutely not having any of the coffee that's been offered. <laughs> yeah, she'll uh, she'll go up the stairs, and as she is, she's gonna try to like kind of smooth her hair down because she'll really just roll out of bed. <laughs> and she'll go into her room and be like, "Killian, wake up!" Huh? Your dad is here. What? Your he, father like, shoots is up here. out of bed. <laughs> He's uh. looking for you. Oh, that is not good. That is not good. That is not he good. He does not look happy. I, although uh, I've never actually talked to him before, but I don't think he's happy. Don't you talk to him? Oh, no. I answered the door. Nobody else was awake. I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, it's not I that. I let him inside. I offered him coffee, and he. I think he glared at our coffee pot. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he, he would probably not drink that. He is very particular about the things that he likes and has a very high expectations speaking of which is my shirt still dirty and smell uh, like beer she probably oh, oh god she, <laughs> she probably like lent him a shirt Lavinia has like a collection of oversized shirts for her so <laughs> what's it say on it uh Probably says like I'm with oh. the stupid or something. Cinder's delivery I'm service. Stupid. Yeah, it's a Cinder's delivery service, and she she cut the sleeves off that, of it, it so it's more old, of a tank top. Does that have a big old pot leaf on it? No, 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 no. Oh. It, it's a very reputable <laughs> brand. It look it looks similar to like um, oh I want to say uh the the graphic on uh Paul Walker's orange uh car where it's like the guy that's pointing and he's holding a spear mm-hmm. that's okay, like now, cinder but what's the logo, what's like the the you oh, know the, the right the small on it, the, what's the right small on it that, like it's like it's you know an innuendo about going fast and hard yeah or the first one's free first one's free <laughs> second one's gonna cost you yeah <laughs> oh 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 uh every third delivery gets a free pot Uh, so Killian's like, oh, I am so dead. You know, if I never see you again, um, you know, this has been really great. Um, He's not going to kill you. Oh, you don't know my dad dramatic. the way I do. Um, he might kill me. Um, I mean, should I should I just stay up, up here? Should I go down with no, you? No, I am not ashamed of you. Um, okay. Okay. He's like all dressed and he's like, you know, pushing his hair back. And he's like, okay, let's, uh, I can't do this. Oh, God. <laughs> Does anybody else hear this <laughs> existential crisis going on? <laughs> uh, Zilly or Meepo might. I don't know. The walls aren't thick at but Cody Hall. Actually, so since, since there's all this commotion, Zilly is going to make her way downstairs to get some coffee. <laughs> Uh, as you, like, Zilly in her half, like, you know, she's waked and baked, you know, and she's, like, you know, half asleep still. You walk down and, and uh, 
one of the deans is down in the uh you know kitchen of cody hall so and he oh go ahead she's gonna be in her like just an oversized t-shirt that's it her hair is just like abnormally poofy uh and she's gonna walk by and be like oh no what did i steal this time <laughs> did you steal something <sighs> she's gonna like look around real quick i don't think so not this then, time. What, what are you, you doing here? Who? I know you. I know you. you. You're the one that got it. Uh, that the uh, Lisette always complains about. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. She talks about me. <laughs> she complains about you. Aw. That's nice. What time is it? It's almost one in the afternoon. No, no, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. It, <laughs> oh my god! No, it's, <gasps> it's it's about ten a.m. and all of you seem to still be asleep. Uh, yeah. Why aren't you? Well, not anymore. <laughs> because I have come to rescue my son from this godforsaken place. Is he I think danger? at this point, the video will come down the stairs to be like, rescue? What? Killian! Did we kidnap someone? Uh, he, like, completely ignores you once Killian shows up. Uh, and he says, Killian! You will remove yourself from this place at once. It is beneath you. Oh, yeah, that's the floor. Uh, Killian, uh, kind of just, like, you can see that he looks very defeated Lavinia and he's like ah oh, dad that's uh, and uh like as he starts kind of giving some pushback uh the the dean is just like nope I will have none of it and you are not to see this girl ever again as well and he points at Lavinia what are you even wearing right now this is a unbecoming of somebody of your station Uh, d d d uh, uh, Killian just looks at Lavinia. He's like, I'm sorry. If I make a, any, put up any kind of fight, this could be a big deal. Oh, I don't mind about like making it a big deal. I'm really good at making big deals. Do you want to make it a big deal? I'll make it a fucking big deal. What are you whispering about? Be on your way, boy. Zilly's just sipping her coffee watching the show now. And Lavinia's <laughs> gonna see Meepo is also standing there behind her, and he's gonna shoot her a wink of support and bardically inspire her. Oh. Okay. Um, you see, gonna... Kill Killian is kind of paralyzed in that way, like, where kids who are getting yelled at by their parents kind of are so like, I, I don't want to, like, not listen to them, but, like, they're wrong. DM, can I roll a luck check for Sin? Sure. What for? I want to see if I know the the Dean's cup of coffee and see if I can make it. Just to try to ease the tensions. Uh, I, I would say you probably don't have the ingredients to make what this man drinks here at Cody Hall. <laughs> can Tasha whip something up real quick? I mean, you can. I don't think we're going to change his mind with a cup of coffee. <laughs> oh, you don't know uh, my cup of coffee. But with her... Are you uh, with her... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> with her bardic inspiration, uh, then he's going to kind of stand up taller and slightly in front of Killian because the poor kid's freaking petrified, right? And she said, you might... She, she'll, say, she'll say to... Uh, What's his name? Ambrose Lou. Mm -hmm. She'll say to him, uh, "You might think that this is rather unbecoming, like a but or beneath your son, but I find it rather unbecoming that the dean of our school is so classic." Is so what? Classist. <laughs> it's basically, telling uh, so we suck because we're poor. 
Oh yeah, pretty much. No, he has no problem with it though. Uh, he he says, uh, my son is the best of the best. He is not only number one in his class, he is one of the finest students of this entire school, and I will not have his future jeopardized by fraternization. Is Tasha in his class? Or is he in a year above us? Uh, Killian's, uh, I believe, the year above you all. <laughs> Nobody's smarter than Tasha. That, that, that was going to be my next point. Like, yes, I agree with you that Killian is very smart. He's very capable. But I don't think you seem to understand that you're in the hall. That house is the, probably some of the smartest second-year students at your school. Alistair's brilliant as well. Alistair's brilliant. Tasha's brilliant. Hell, I'm Meepo's fucking brilliant. brilliant. You're brilliant? Nobody oh, look at my room. I just live here. I'm not part of that group. Zilly is also brilliant. He, uh, <laughs> he, he, he folds his arms and he says, I am not here to debate. I am here to I'm take my I'm not debating. Son. I'm stating facts. Killian. Besides, your son came here of his own accord because he wanted to. How uh, often do you let yourself do things that you want to? I will have you know that yes. I have I have nothing but the most the highest interest for Killian's well-being. I know what's best for him. Do you even know what he likes to do? What his hobbies are? The people who he talks to? His... It is not important. What is important are his... His academics, his skill in shadowmancy, and him being groomed to be a professor at this esteemed university. I mean, no offense. I wouldn't call it esteemed. I've almost died several times while attending here. It's not very safe. Only the best of the best graduate from Strixhaven. Uh, as, like, you're kind of having this, like, standoff with his father. Mm. She, uh, she's not going to stand down. <laughs> no, I know. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to have you roll for Killian. What kind of a roll okay. do, does everyone think this should be? I can't kind of decide. I want some uh, input here. What roll would you make to deal with daddy issues? Can Ooh. Sorry, Can Rachel. Is is there is there a chance that Sin could get close when all this is happening to Killian? Oh, at this point, I think everyone's like on the stairs, fucking watching and listening. Uh, I whisper in his ear, "If you truly love her, you need to stand up to your father." And I cast heroism on him, so he can't be frightened. Ooh, I like that. Prove yourself to her. And I'm trying to support my girl. All right, I'm gonna okay. make. I'm gonna give him. Uh, what's your bardic inspiration die? It's a D six. D six. He did not roll very high. I, I gave him a charisma saving throw to get over childhood trauma. Damn it, man, this is serious. If only it were that easy. It is not that easy. Uh, Killian, uh, he kind of walks over to his dad and he's like, all right, let's, let's, let's go. Let's go. And he like turns to you, uh, Lavinia, and he's like, Sorry, I just, I, 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 you don't want to be on his bad side, I promise you. 
and uh, he's gonna walk out the door with his dad. And uh, before Ambrose leaves, he turns back to Lavinia and he just kind of like scoffs at you. Like he doesn't even say anything. He just kind of like makes like a like a Lucius Malfoy kind of smock, like like you know, kind of like look down on you motion, and then he like walks out. She's gonna flip him off <laughs> as he turns away, not directly to him. She's not that brave. And as they walk out, slam the door behind him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good morning. I'm going back oh. to bed. I'm going to make some more coffee. I think we'll need more coffee today. Yeah, this first pot's empty. Sin Sin goes underneath the kitchen sink and grabs a bottle of brown liquor and starts splashing it in everyone's coffee. It's going to be one of those kind of days. You guys have to study today. Yep, it's going to be one of those kind of days. <laughs> oh, Sin, I think this coffee's gone bad. No, 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 no. That's from the, the, the peak of uh, Kilimanjaro. It's a uh, Guy, I don't know. It's excellent coffee. You like it? It's a. It, All it's, right. It's a sophisticated taste, Meepo. You like it? Uh, Sin, you get a uh, notification for a, a delivery has been placed to the Zeta Beta House. Ooh, ooh, ooh. by Mina Lee. Uh, they take their uh, swig of coffee. Hey, I gotta run. You all make sure Lavinia doesn't do anything crazy i'll be back in a little bit and i take off all right uh you uh collect the uh the coffee order from uh the fire jolt cafe and and you uh run the like six generic or the six most complicated starbucks coffee orders you've ever seen <laughs> uh over to uh the zeta beta house and uh mina answers the door hey here's your delivery hey thanks sin or do i call you cinder when you're on at work it doesn't matter <laughs> just call me sin <laughs> all right well hey thank you that was very timely here's a generous tip hey. uh did you want to come inside I would absolutely love to. It has been a hell of a day, and seeing some friendly faces will make it a lot better. Cool. Uh, you come in and you see, you know, like a, maybe a few people you recognize, but nobody that, like, really is like any of your classes or anything like that. And she says, uh, as she's like drinking her coffee, she drops out off the coffees with the other people that ordered them, and she says. Uh, so, like, what, uh, besides your, your business, what, are you in any other extracurriculars? Have you been LARPing much these days? I, I honestly, I haven't. I've been so tied up with the business and this battle for Strixhaven thing and school. Mm, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I'm just tapped. Yeah. Well, I mean, so you, you don't have any, uh, other room for club activities? Oh, no, no. I had definitely have room for other club activities. But I'm tapped on that side. I, that was only half my brain. I got the other half. I'm good. Oh. Well, you know, Zeta Beta is still trying to get people to, to you know, rush the sorority. Uh, and, you know, everybody's, you know, really pushing hard for, you know... Uh, rush week to to get people signed up uh you is that something you might be interested in yeah what what uh any requirements special requirements well there's there's a lot um you know it, it, there's certain code of conduct you have to follow and you know there's a lot of like kind of just like initiation things you have to do during rush week and you have to uh you know i can't really tell you until you've like 
really committed, you know, right, part of a, tr- right, right, a trust right. thing. But, you know, like if you if you get past all the uh, rush uh, events, then, yeah, you get to to be initiated as a, a full uh, sister in the sorority. Yeah, that would be awesome to have a, a place that I could really call mo- call home. Yeah, I like that. I, I would love to join. Okay, great. Um, I'll I'll send you the details once I, I run by run it by um, the rest of the sisters. Cool, cool. So it if if I do make it, would I stay here? Was there a, like a yeah. big room somewhere? Yeah, exactly. There's rooms for all the sisters here once you're initiated. Oh, is, is there any way I can get a tour so I can see like where the sun is coming up or like if. Because I, I know I'm going to get in, so I want to get the best room before any of the other girls. I mean, I can show you around right now. Um, like, And she just casually walks you around uh, the Zeta Beta house. Is there a specific room you want to see? No, no. I just, I just want to see what my options are because I'm going to get in here and I want to have the best place uh, besides, you know, the more senior girls. I, I want to get the best place uh you know, central to the action as it is. Yeah. Well, she shows you around. Um, at one point you do walk into this, uh, the piano room, uh, down here and you do indeed see Margot Lou, Felissa and Shivadri hanging out around the piano. Uh, Shivadri's playing. Um, and, uh, I need you to make me intelligent saving throw. <laughs> yeah, of course. How about a nap fucking 20? What the fuck? How? How am I asking you? How? Uh, Marco, you could go fuck yourself. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking girl code has demanded that I destroy them socially, so I'm in like Flynn. (laughs) Well, uh... Oh, Shivadri, that is absolutely beautiful music. Well, I mean... Since Lavinia already kind of told you what she saw, uh, since since that's like you're looking for something very specific, and you see the same thing that Lavinia saw, uh, this uh, illusion of Margot underneath it is well. Oh wait, I told Summer this in the outside. Would you join me in the outside? Yes. <sighs> Ooh, hi. Uh, I mean, Summer already told you most of what it looked like, but uh, the couple things that you get from this is that this is a high-level illusion um, magic, uh, and once you kind of see through the illusion of Margot, underneath is this kind of writhing mass of shadowy tentacles, uh, and you can see that that's not like it's not like it's like Margot's being uh, enveloped by these tentacles. It's like Margot's not actually there. There's just this creature that is being, that is, has this illusion cloaking it to look like Margot. Gotcha. And we're going to go back. Okay. Unless you have any questions. Uh, so I'm only getting that vibe from Margot, right? Yes. And am I seeing that there is, say, any kind of, like, faint connections of shadow touching anybody else? Or is it just the shadows within the, the form Ooh. of Margo? Make me an Arcana check. Uh, go ahead, just roll it with your dice so no one knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll throw a d4 on that because I passed my test. Uh... Ooh, not not very good. I got a fourteen. Not for like not with like you would need to like examine it closely. Like you're like and, I'm not very good at magic. <laughs> well, yeah, and without like drawing attention to yourself, it's hard to tell. Gotcha, gotcha. But does it look like okay, maybe not that, but does it look like what 
tried to influence me is influencing these other two individuals. Like they're like inherently drawn to the tentacle monster. It, like... It's possible. Okay. Okay. Cool. That's it for me then. Cool. What happened? Hello. So that C sharp was epic. I love that note. Great note. Oh, hi, Sid. Uh, Shivadri kind of stops playing as you speak up. So uh, I'm just uh, getting a, a lay of the land here because I'm going to try to... I'm going to put my hat in no, in, yeah. in con uh, contention to try to get into the Zeta Beta for the, uh, the rush week. Interesting. Uh, Margo says to you, are you... So you're abandoning Kieran for us? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a little intense over there, so we need something a little more stable. Well, this is an interesting, Mina. I am very pleased with this. Uh, you are absolutely going to be able to rush for us. Cool. Is there anything that I should expect? So that way, I mean, I, I really want to make this work. Like I said, I'm, I'm getting driven crazy over there. The music is loud. People are coming in and out late at night. I want something more secure and, you know, a, a better goal in mind. So I just want to Alyssa, make sure I'm on the right path. Melissa turns to you and says, well, your loyalty will have to be tested. And she kind of looks at Margo and looks back at you and says... We don't necessarily believe that you are dedicated to Zeta Beta quite yet. Um, okay. What would earn a guarantee is if you were to guarantee Cody Hall's loss to Zeta Beta in the finals of the battle for Strixhaven. Oh, shit. I hate her. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. She's on the other team. <laughs> yeah, what's, uh, what's the last event so I know how best to sabotage them? Do we know? It's going to be the Mage Tower event between Zeta Beta and Cody Hall. Okay, you see Zeta Beta. Tower. Okay. Uh, is the other team that made the finals. So, when you and I face off on the field, I expect you to be doing your best to ensure that Cody Hall loses. Yeah, we can make that happen. If it does, then you will have your place here at Zeta Beta. Well... I think this is going to be a very fruitful partnership, and I'm looking forward to the future. And uh, Mina kind of continues giving you the tour. Uh, and... Oh, by the way, Margo, um, your dad stopped by the Cody Hall house this morning. Did you know that? Why would I be my father's keeper? I don't know. I, you know, going down and seeing the lowborn and such, you know, it, it's kind of weird for someone of his station. I didn't think that he would do that. Well, I do know that my brother has been fraternizing with the red haired one. What is her name? Shivadri. And Shivadri kind of like. She she kind of has one of those looks like first she's like you know but like she doesn't like say it and she it's like, Lavinia Lavinia yes that one I could understand why my father would have a problem with it yeah People and obviously you understand or otherwise you wouldn't be here oh yeah I I understand exactly where your family's coming from Margo. I, where I'm from, we're uh, high echelon. We run the show over there, so I get it. This is all 
politics and people below us it's it's honestly it's kind of irritating that we have to put up with it sin make me a wisdom saving throw oh god <laughs> how about a 22 <laughs> uh you you resist the effects of somebody trying to probe deeper into your mind as if using the read thoughts spell which you were familiar with what that feeling I'm is very like. familiar with this yeah don't hey it's all good all right so if i'm gonna enact this sabotage i better get back to the guys over there so they don't think anything's weird is happening um good luck well thank you and i wish you all the luck as well but you're not gonna need it because i am on the other team <laughs> Tulu sin walks out <laughs> mina like walks you out and she says Great. Seems like an easy thing to do. We're going to be sisters in no time. You got this. All right. I'm going to catch you on the flip side, Mina. If you ever need anything, just give me All a right. ring. Have a great morning. I will. As soon as I get like a thousand yards away, since it's just like, huh, huh, huh. Meanwhile, it's back at the Cody Hall, I, does, did I understand that Kieran made it back? Yes, I'm here. I'm out of the car, no longer driving. I can now curse <laughs> freely. Fuck yes. So, Kieran, you get you get back to Cody Hall, uh, you know, in the morning. And as you walk in, the mood at Cody Hall is, uh, we're going to call it somber. Mm-hmm. Well, as Kieran's, as Kieran's walking in, she's still dealing with the effects. Like, she was happy that she, as they were talking in her room, but as she was stewing, it just kept getting worse and worse. So she's wearing sweatpants, sweatshirt. Her hair doesn't look like it's been washed. And how long has it been since what? everything went down? Uh, at this point, like three, four days. Yeah, she hasn't washed her hair since, so she's she's definitely been stewing. She's not the happiest people, so when she comes in, it's like, oh, okay. This is what I've been feeling at, so she'll look around. Did I miss something? Why, why is everyone so sad? Zeely's going to extend a cup of coffee to Kieran. Oh, God, what happens? We all got woken up really early. Margo's dad stopped by. Why did he stop by? Was he looking for me? Because, oh, what happened? No, I guess... I guess his son slept over after the party. Oh, I don't nice. know. He must have crashed here somewhere. He was not happy. He was not happy. He was very loud. He was very not nice. He's a very mean person. Well, I could have told you that. What happened? Uh, well, it took a bit of a tone with Lavinia. Apparently, we're beneath him. Okay. So Killian stood up, right? Like, where the fuck is Killian? Nope. What? He forgot all about the rules of the girl code and just immediately sort of deflated in front of his father. What? No. No, Lavinia. Where's Lavinia? Is Lavinia in the room? No, she's, she's upstairs in her room. Uh, Kieran's going to go upstairs and bust open the door. <laughs> Lavinia, where are you? Lavinia's laying at her bed, just laying on her bed, just staring at the ceiling. <laughs> Lavinia, get up. We're going to win your man back. You're not going to make the same mistakes as I did. Get up. Get the fuck up. You're not going to do this, okay? Look here. No, I am the pinnacle of sad. Did something no. happen to Chad? What are you talking? Wait, did something ha Has Chad been hanging out with her? <laughs> yeah, Chad was hanging out with you last night. 
You like, just said you're not gonna <laughs> lose. Left you this morning. You just Look, said you that's... lost him. No, no, no. Something else with the stupid Lou thing. We're not going to. We're not with <laughs> Lavinia. We're not going to lose him. Get the fuck up. Get up. Get dressed. We're going to win your man back. Get up. And she'll. Um, can she grab the uh, comforter and just yank it? Oh my gosh! Just yank like just like I mean, like, make, like the tablecloth pole. Give me an athletics check. Oh, this is okay. Great. I'm. I oh, don't know how long. I've 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 got your character sheet. I'll make it for you. Oh wait, there you I go. Really good. Let me, I've got your character sheet. Let me grab it. Do, 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 Probably do. not. Even at a plus zero, sixteen is really good. It is really good. I bet Kieran's fairly strong from what I remember. Oh not no, really? she's not. Well, she's got plus one to athletics, so hey. that's a seventeen. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, you're able to yank that comforter out from under Lavinia. Get up. Get dressed. We're going to the Lou residence. Get up now. We're going. Fine, Kieran. It's not going to, like, change anything, but sure. Let's go. I'll, I'll humor you. No, it is. Because I'm not going to make you make the same mistake as I did. Got it? Because this is where you at. Of course, I got Chad now, which Chad is fantastic. I love Chad with all my heart. But good God, I would not be in this mess if I didn't do anything okay if i did something not going to make the same mistake as you okay this has lit a fire underneath me i am going to take we're going to go get dressed also where they are fancy as shit so i don't i don't have any fancy shit. uh can karen Kier, karen karen's going to go in her room and uh get the dress that she was wearing with her with her parents and when they were meeting Chad and throw it at Lavinia, get dressed. You're going. Let's do this. Get up your makeup fast as possible. We're going. Sorry if I'm hijacking. Oh, you're fine. Yeah, Lavinia will put the dress on. Isn't it so fancy for like 10 30 in the morning? Karen? Nothing is too fancy. Not when you're trying to get some guys to, I mean, love. Not dick, not dick. I wasn't going to say that. Oh, she got that last night. <coughs> oh, and, I, got the oh. I mean, Killian's shirt is on her floor. Mm -hmm. No, Wait, Karen. He walked off with her shirt. That's not right. Yeah, no, he's wearing yeah, Luvidia's shirt. His shirt smells like beer. He wasn't going to wear that in front of his dad. Hey, that's uh, getting the name out. Yeah, delivery. It's going right to the Lou residence. Everyone's going to be appreciative of my <laughs> delivery service. <laughs> yeah, she'll get ready and then she'll be like, here, fine, Karen, let's. Speaking of which, this is about what time uh, Sin gets back to Cody Hall. Oh, hey, God. oh, Karen, it's so good to see you out of the house. I know. Look, <laughs> I'm not feeling good. I just came up here to get my stuff because I thought I would be spending it with my parents maybe for another week. Because let me just tell you, it hasn't been dying down. Apparently, Chad has been saying, like, there are DMs about me and they keep asking me. And there's a campaign to, you know, um, get me to break up with Chad. But that's not going to happen because I am. You know, all of that <laughs> shit is pointless. All of you have seen that shit on your crystals. Hey. Like, you all know what she's talking about. Karen, that. <laughs> That's really all pointless. It doesn't matter. Well, of course not. No, it's not like, you know, I tried to get an order at a, when I was eating with my parents the other day and I thought it was off campus and then I found like a ton of hairs in my food. I'm doing just fine, you know? It's not like I'm the most unpopular person on campus. So it's not like I'm living vicariously through Lavinia in order to, 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 to do hey, stuff with hey. Just no? be a, hey, don't. Don't do that. Just be a good friend. Like you were to me, and I was to you. Just be a good friend. Be a good friend right now. Okay. Then stiffen that upper lip and do what you gotta do. Don't worry about the other shit. It's pointless. And if you have problem with your problems with your food, let me know. Because I deliver to all those guys, and I can fuck with their shit. That's good. Okay. Okay. Lavinia, are you ready to go? Yep, I'm ready to go, Kieran. Let, let's go. Let's go humiliate myself even more. Let's go. No. 
Because if there's one thing I know about the loose, you just gotta win their hearts. Not their fucking father, though. Fuck their father. Fuck their father. By the way, Zilly, is is it? Uh, love, love what you're doing. I haven't written to you, but hi. Just walked out the room. Immediately. <laughs> but she'll grab Lavinia and just start trudging down. Um, she'll also, uh, just as a precaution, cast uh, Disguise Self uh, to make her look a little more put together. If that's okay. Yeah. So you're going to go all the way out to the uh, to the Lou residence on the uh, Silver Quill campus? Yes. All right. Well, if Ben's got to go... Oh, it is about that time. Hmm. We, I think that's a good point to stop it and leave it for next week then, because that'll give me time to prep that. My God. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what a session. <laughs> what happened? I caught bits and pieces so of it. So much shit happened. Appar- uh, Kieran's been vindicated. I heard that. Um, I heard <laughs> the Cody Hall thing um, winning. Uh, the party. And... Oh, okay. Damn, that's a lot of notes. I took notes. What? And I, uh, I beat, I beat the fake Margo. <laughs> Yay! I can't believe you both have rolled. You both rolled natural twenties. The two people <laughs> that saw her both rolled the natural twenties. Yep. It's amazing. With only a plus one, around. you both only have a plus one on the yep. stupid save. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, Ben. Have a good night, Ben. Lavinia and I are we're gonna wreck this campaign with our bullshit saves. That's <laughs> fine. I mean. That depends. Are you going to help uh, Cody Hall or Zeta Beta? Know. We're going to find Ooh. out. It depends on which other faction I'm going to go with. You have, a lot of, uh, you have a lot of options. I got a lot of irons in the fire. All right, I'm going to go make some food. Thank you for the session, everybody. Have a good night. Have a good night. I wish I got home sooner. No. <laughs> We'll see you next week, guys. Night, Ryan. Night. Night. Oh, is next week? Next week's Pirates, right? Uh, the Death of Rookie Lives. Is that next week, Lucas? Are we doing Pirates? We can do Pirates. <gasps> Does that mean we get Rookie back? It depends on what giant fish hooks you guys bite on. Well, we did kill Chad, so. Chad, that was. I mean, (laughs) does this mean we finally get to leave Leave Water Seven? Do we get finally get to leave Water Seven? Well, there's still a concert if you guys want to go to it. You got past. I just want our boat. (laughs) (laughs) It's been so long. How many filler episodes must you put in before I get my boat? An entire arc. <laughs> well, I mean, a lot of the backup dancers are kind of dead. Yeah. Like, really dead. Like, a bundle of corpse. So I think that's like a that's a cancellation thing, right? No, the whole thing is corpses and undead. So it kind of goes oh, with the motif. Whole... So were, were those people killed? Or are they just... In no, no, they were killed. Oh, okay. Storage. Jalen been... just keeps dead bodies in storage. You know. They've I been mean... dead under there for a while. You guys heard Goblin like the last couple of days. You guys were up there. Well, I. Huh. Yeah. When you well... talked to uh, Habu Gabu, she said, "Yeah, I heard some Goblin coming from underneath the stage." I thought they were stagehands. They were. <laughs> for Chad. Well, hindsight is twenty twenty, huh? Whoops. You killed the so. entire Boblin family. Congratulations. Mm. Oh, I'm sure Boblin will be okay with that. Yeah, he didn't like him. Killian really is... let me down, man. 
What'd you roll on that save? Uh, I rolled like a 10 or a 12. Oh. I rolled a 12, and then he got plus oh. 2, but just still only 14, and that's not high enough for Killian's conditioning. Mm -hmm. Aww. Yeah, that would have been a pretty big deal for Killian to stand up to his dad. So wait. Mr. Lou. Condition yeah. his kid? They're brainwashed? Oh yeah. I mean fucking oh, knew all it. parents that are strict as hell can like brainwash their children in a sense. Traumatized yeah, called, brainwash. Called, Is there a difference? <laughs> it's you know definitely more of the trauma side of things. No, poor baby. Oh, what's the mom like? Is the mom yeah, even mom. around? You guys have not heard much about a mom. Does Kieran know about a mom? Uh, yeah, Kieran probably would. Is the mom dead? I gotta double check He's... something. This seems like kind of a murdered situation. <laughs> Or maybe the mom is the one right now. Ooh. Oh, what if this is the episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer <laughs> where the mom takes over, like, Margot's body, Margot is in the mom's body? Well, I mean, if the shadow tentacles are anything to say, isn't that one of the things that was in the chest? Uh, to, as far as I'm aware, and from what I remember... What was, like, what was said by Killian is that there are like orbs in the chest. Oh, I thought like, they contained the creatures. I thought they were shadow pokeballs. Well, I think I'm sorry. Em Ambrose is a single father. What happened to the mom? Did she kill her? Did he kill her? It's you definitely a murder. You don't know. <laughs> I think you just know she's not around anymore. You used to, like, she was there, uh, and then, you know, she wasn't. Oh, he. she's dead. She's dead. She's dead. He murdered her in the backyard. Who's, who's dead? What did Kanala. I mean? Penal the end dead. of the session. <gasps> but Margo's mother is dead. Uh, Mr. Luke killed her in the backyard underneath the tree. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. He totally did it. I wish I didn't miss this session. <laughs> it's, it would have been a good one. It would have. Uh... So, By the way, what? Sorry. No, you go ahead. So did did Amber Blue basically just break up with Lavinia Fork? Uh, I mean, he, you, I don't, I wouldn't say he, he, I, I, I don't think he necessarily broke up with you. Love finds a way. He definitely he has... just listened to his dad. But you could try texting him. I mean, you haven't tried that yet. Oh, yeah, true. You guys have only been dating for a little bit. And then he had his first, like, argument with his dad. <laughs> so, I mean, y'all are going pretty smooth. Like, whoa. You made breakfast together. You had a good thing going. I mean, yeah, she'd probably just send him, like, question marks, like, dude, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> oh, dang, and you got your, like, side piece, and you broke up with him, so Killian's kind of pretty fucking important, you know? Yeah, it was a piece. He was the main piece, and now he's not. <laughs> mm -hmm. She done burned that bridge. Technically, oh, that destroyed it. Oh, chatting, yeah. Pretty hardy side piece, you know? <laughs> Those buns? I mean, right now, Lavinia's gotten the most of anyone. 
Mm-hmm. No, I, I, I thought, uh, I, I truly, I truly was going to play Kieran as a slut and, uh, didn't work by slut. I mean, like very good terms. Like, I mean, that's how her and Chad started out. That's the funny thing. And then it just turned into a relationship. It, it did. It did. <laughs> that's the funniest thing. It still reminds me of a Reddit post where this guy was roommates with a guy who sat him down and said, I'm going to be bringing home a chicken night. Hope you can deal with it. Don't do it. You know, don't get in my way. Brought one gal home. And now he's married to her, married to her, never brought in. And I just, I like that. I like that. I like that theme. Yeah, you just have to put up with him jumping naked into a fountain. Well, he only does that when he's drunk. <laughs> but, I mean, if you're going to have anybody do it, Chad At least is the one Chad. to do it. Yeah. yeah. There you go. There you go. I mean, Chad's loyal. He's a, the goodest boy. So far, so good. He what only he slept means? with... I mean, he only did sleep with your best friend. Yeah. Yeah, but we you weren't told official. That's true. Yeah, and then it was kind of a, hey, I kind of see something more happening instead of us being fuck buddies, you know? <laughs> and like, oh, dang, after the last year, that last session, I'm like, oh, God, I really want this relationship for Karen for uh, <laughs> Chad. But I'm not too sure. So I'm really happy this year that it's going strong. Chad is, uh, I mean, there is an immense amount of pressure on y'all right now. That is true. Pressure? You pressure? Yeah, from oh, the sorry. internet. The internet hates Kieran. Oh, you think that's pressure? I've got planes of existence that are pouring down on me. Yeah, she's yeah, got the internet. Kieran's relationship. <laughs> yeah. Have One you have you gets. felt the po- felt the power of the internet just upon you? Of course. I know Zazzles. It is bad. Oh, I'm excited for Pirates next week. I, I really want to see Rookie and Amanda's back. I'm back, bitches. I know. You know the shit. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for the ship, but, you know. I'm not, I don't even know. I'm going to have to, like, power watch nothing but pirates to try and catch up on everything. Oh, good luck. Ugh. Disobeyed God. You went to an island. You almost died to a black hole. And you went to another island. There was a squirrel island. There was a squirrel island where Rocky was talking in a mentor's head. Mm-hmm. Imagine like that. Just... that a mentor is as weird as everyone thought he is. And yep. no one has talked about it. Sure. Iskari talks about it all the time. Erling put on well, makeup no. and weirded everyone out. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. He yeah, dressed as a clown. Was, it was, yeah, a mime, right? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. He put and on he's mime still, makeup. He's still dressed up as that, which, okay. And then he, oh, turned, and then he turned into a Wendigo and almost, like, and drowned. Yeah, and then... Uh, his makeup was all messed up. I mean, and he Pandala reapplied it. Disguised herself as a governor of an island and oh, yeah. interrogated an old woman. Oh yeah, and then flew oh, off and, and said, "I'm into some weird shit." <laughs> yeah, but that was that was Farah, right? Yeah, well, and then there's all the the stuff about the Crimson Whirlwind and Rookie getting set up, and Rachel, sure that was a random old lady. God, there was so I many know, things that it happened. Was it I was know. far. It was, it was. It was. Yeah. I genuinely thought the whole time that she ended up interrogating the poor old lady. <laughs> but no, it was just far. <laughs> it was just far. So I think what you're saying is interrogate all the old women that we ha- that we see Every if we ever. Old any- women must be interrogated. Yes. They could oh, be and- Sarah Boss after all. Oh. oh yeah. Yeah. Um, shit. Hold on. Oh, right. Jalem's back. 
found out yeah. Jalem is Panala's father? Shitty father. Very shitty father. I mean, well, write what you know, you know? I mean, we have a theme of shitty fathers. Like, what's going on? And then Panala immediately went and literally forgot about it. I just want to torture the man. Every time he sees Panala, he realizes, oh, this is my daughter. And he can't tell her because she'll he knows that she'll freak out. But she doesn't recognize him as a father. And she'll say, you know what? You're like a father to me. And it's always going to be a hmm. It's always you know, going to be a thing that, in his heart. That's going to evaporate the second Iskari starts talking. Oh, I, I fucking know. And I don't know how I'm <laughs> supposed to do it. But you know what? I just thought it was fun to torture this man. I mean, it is fun. That's that's is fair. Fun. Yeah. Would Ascari be willing to let Jalem join the crew? If Panala asked? No, she doesn't trust that, dude. <laughs> what if Panala asked really nicely? Uh, maybe. We do have a lot of space. We need a lot of hands on deck. There we go. And if he can get us more funding or access to like his network, you know, so we can get our shows put out to more people, who am I to say no? The show must go on. What else happened? Oh, we saw a Toad die. That was. Oh yeah, he got hit by a train. Like he's the Toad's one hundred percent dead, right? No, I thought it swam after. It was swimming after. Yeah, it swam after the train after it got hit. Oh, okay. I, I, I thought I heard, like, oh, the blood and guts are everywhere. I'm like, oh, R.I.P. to It did happen. <laughs> um, so they've been on one island for the longest time and haven't burned down an inn yet. I like, shot in... holes in the roof of one. But they fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> is, is there a chance we can burn down an inn? Like, which inn is the most flammable? Ooh. The one that Iskari shot holes in the roof oh, of. <laughs> the oil <laughs> drag. <laughs> We got a reality TV show deal. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. X Ribbit. Yeah. And then the, uh, <laughs> we're going to have an illithid shopkeeper on our fucking boat or a squid person's shopkeeper. We're not sure. He just did memory shit. So I feel like he's an illithid. Oh. I like squid person. <laughs> I haven't decided what beings are what in the One Piece world. So they could be uh, from the Mink tribe or a fish man. I don't know. Yeah, there you See, go. I, I I don't know what the fuck a Madrin is. We played Mario Kart in D&D. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, yes. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. I didn't come last. That, that's won? all I'm looking for. Did a Madrin Raja, win? I think one. I won. Oh no, the Medrin did one, the creepy yeah, one. Won. Yeah, I remembered, right? Because I completely screwed over Raja. Yep. <laughs> I think we kept screwing over Raja. <laughs> he had the ability to run through people, though, so. We were all salty about it. We had to bag on the new guy. <laughs> That's <laughs> right, Raja. Raja's the new, new guy. Medrin was the, the old, new guy. I don't know. I think a still thinks he saw that. I don't know how well we're going to go along. He sure does it. Man, he sure oh, does well, it. Well, all that. This, <laughs> this will probably ruffle your feathers. Rush is a pretty good buddy to Panala. Like, a really oh, good buddy. Of course he is. Of course he is. <laughs> it only hurts a lot, but that's fine. <laughs> I mean, Pan Rookie's, Rookie's getting tortured right now, so you know. And you, there you are just making friends. It's it's cool. No, it's totally fine. And playing Mario Kart, you weren't even trying to find her. She was trying. She was in an emotional state, and we yeah, all know that Mario Kart is therapy. She was drinking heavily. Still is. Yeah. And That's I not... think sort of flirting with Habu Gabu. Wow. No, you flirted with that gay guy at the Ouroboros network, and he totally she turned was... you down. Yes, and she charmed him, and then it all worked out in the end. Yeah, magic. Woo Which... She uses that 
That's spell a lot. Oh, speaking of spells, can I switch out spells, please? I <laughs> told you, yes. Okay. Do I need to level up my characters? Uh, we should be should... level eight. Level eight. This is the longest you guys have been a level and the longest you guys have been on an island. I know. Can we level okay, up? Okay, so yeah, Ricky's still eight and Neptune's eight. Okay, we're good. Whew. We almost died. Can we level up? No. <laughs> did, oh, did, did you not hear the description of the encounter that you threw at us? Yeah, I know. We almost died. <laughs> they were Raja, like, nearly died, and he was only there for two sessions. That's like, that's like a level. Yeah, that's fucked up, man. <laughs> yeah, welcome to One Piece. <laughs> Like, we've almost died several times, actually, the last two encounters. Yeah, it's true. You know, I that's mean, usually... How... That's how every fight in the anime is. It's a near-death fight every fight. I mean, usually, like, we just, we just call Mom, and Mom just beats people up, but Mom wasn't able to beat people up this time. Mom is a scary, by the way. Oh, I, I was know. Gonna say, Mom is sorry. I, I got that one real quick. <laughs> there, there were too many enemies between me and those that fucker. It, it just took me too long to get to him. Yep, walls of enemies around Ascari. It worked out I did, and I was the one that chopped that dude's head off in the end, you though. <laughs> so, chat, 100% going to die, right? We just no, have to deal with this. Not 100%. To... If he doesn't get to his coffin in two hours, then technically he's dead. We have no guarantee of knowing whether he's alive or dead, so for now he's presumed alive. He's messing with Vanilla. But wait, he can't he can't go into the sun, right? So we just gotta push his vapor into the sun. Right? That's yeah, how push, vampires. Push a cloud into the sun, see how that works out. I mean we just we, we I have gut I don't have gust of wind. We just need a really big fan. Maybe some Febreze. Or a cookie sheet. A cookie sheet. <laughs> it's a garlic incense. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I don't get me wrong. Holy water. Don't get me wrong. I love Chad in Ball Island uh, because, you know, a, a little bit of Chad, but um, I kind of hate him because he nearly killed Raja and me. He's no longer fun. Oh, and he sucks. Oh, yeah, he actually does suck, yes. Blood and. Blood I see what you did there. Yeah, he's a vampire. I want to stab him in the chest. I should have stabbed him in the chest. Blood. It's the voice. The voice makes it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and just the things he says. I'm just like, the way no. He says them. <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> I'm doing a good job then. But it would be fun to see him a recurring character that we just kill continuously. Like, he's not even a problem anymore. He's just more of an annoyance. He becomes he's buggy. Chuck, the he's our arch nemesis, but he's really not. Yeah. Kind of like Condiment Man and Batman. <laughs> yeah. We just kill him a couple times. <laughs> no, but fuck. Fuck Chad. Really fuck him. Fuck him. Yeah. Don't say that around Chad. He might make you no, crazy. I know. Uh, I forgot that he was like obsessed with Panala too. That was gross. Ugh. Yeah. She charmed him. It was her fault. Gross. Yeah, yeah. You know what? It's either uh, people hate her after she charms them, or they absolutely love her. Uh, well, we not have not only that. His charm wasn't even like dissolved. You killed or the captain killed him while he was charmed to you. His Wait, last thought was you. Oh. Oh, or, God. Or like creepy zombie stalker. <laughs> or I guess vampire stalker. Well, then what's the deal with Bob the Hobbagabagwa? Well, you charmed him, too, and he's just along for the ride. Oh, nice. He's, he's okay. waiting for his opportunity. To what? Eliminate all the competition, and then there will only be Boblin. Oh God! That's what happens when you fuck with this people's emotions. Normal things. 
Yeah, I, I contend that Charm Person is an evil spell. Yes, and they will relentlessly follow you because that's what I'm making the Charm Person do. How many people has she charmed? A lot. Oh my god. A lot. <laughs> well, most, most of them are dead, are dead. right? Most of them are dead, but there's a handful Scuffy that... Scuffy does end up killing a large number of the people you charm. Oh my god, she charmed Polly. The Polly hates her, right? Polly has to hate her. Mm. Right? I don't know. We haven't There's, really been down to the... Iskari can kill him, him, too. No, we shouldn't kill him. He could be an asset, but... Well, maybe we should, but <laughs> then people keep coming back. I don't know. How many people she fucking charmed? I can't count. Probably be easier to say, like, was there a battle where you didn't cast charm? I don't think so. Nope. Didn't you charm one of the guys at the radio station? Yes. Uh, yes, up on God Island or whatever. Oh yeah. my gosh, you did. Oh my god, I did. It wasn't even charm person. She just charmed him with her charisma. That's Ooh, even worse. That's, that's even worse. It was real. You just used your womanly wiles. Oh god. Oh, and your connection to the discordant prince. Hmm. Oh my god. She's like her father. Well, you don't know that. Oh, no, absolutely <laughs> not. Until <laughs> Iskari opens her mouth. <laughs> Until Iskari opens her goddamn mouth. Uh, yeah, that's definitely gonna happen. Yeah, it is. Okay, but the bandit's dead... Oh, Jesus Christ, how many people has she charmed? <laughs> I did it for fun, it. too. I did it for shits and giggles it's most of the time. Your I did it for actions fun have too. consequences, Rachel. I know, and I keep getting reminded every single time I pay pirates. Because I'm like, oh, <laughs> whoopsie. No, I, I take the kid gloves off when you guys want to fuck around, because you're going to find out. <laughs> Well, that's fun. But Rookie could be coming back! Pookie is back on! Pookie! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, getting really excited it's about it. It's fine, you've just been cheating on her this whole time! She hasn't meant to. She's been sad, and she's just got a ton of charisma. Most of the time, it was to get information. Yeah. panala has been an emotional wreck since we lost Rookie. Like, literally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think she threw up on her dress one time. <laughs> she did. And she's thrown multiple, like, she's had multiple, like, explosive episodes of outrage and emotion. A lot of crying. Mm hmm But she's not obsessed. <laughs> she's not obsessed. Hashtag not obsessed. Do you know who is obsessed? Kieran? No, she's not obsessed. Who's obsessed. Kieran's not obsessed. There's a hashtag. So, so who is it? No one. I, I mean, am. I think he's a little obsessed with Panala, but that's fine. She's just being tortured right now. Like, God. Oh, yeah. Probably having like eight limbs or something. Ooh, what if she comes back all the more? Oof. What if she can't fly anymore? <sighs> what are the consequences, DM? Oh no. Oh no, indeed. Oh no, I don't like what you said at all. Mm -mm. I'm also I mean, pretty sure that Sarah Boss is a little bit in death. You know, Sarah Boss was in love once too. With who? I'm not rookie? telling you. Was it Rookie? It was Rookie, wasn't it? That bitch. It was Rookie. Was it her handler? I no, it was Rookie. Oh, yeah. It was Rookie, wasn't it? It was Rookie? Was it Rookie? Was it rookie? <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you, can, you can keep going. I'm not going to answer. Was it Rookie? <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I think she was starting to fall for Panala. What? Why? <laughs> 
What? I'm joking. Okay. Why would you fall for the person who wrote a song about her called The Pal Who Stole My Lover? That would make a very typical romance like novel. Like they hate each other at first and then they get together at the end. Everyone loves you torches your ex, right? The obvious choice is Iskari. You know I don't think there's any love there. What are you talking about? Why not? Iskari's (laughs) fucking hot, okay? She is hot. She's very hot. Amedrin knows this. What if what if Sarah Boss is the kind of person who's like, please step on me? Yeah, dude. Iskari's got yeah. mommy energy. Just like oh, just like I mean, Rachel when said. When you spend your whole life in a collar and submissive, I don't think you want more submissive in the relationship. So she likes Ricky, right? That's what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> Who does she like, Lucas? I need to know. I'm gonna let you fanfic that and you find the best answer. Let me know. <laughs> I can't fanfic that. I've got school tomorrow. So we, we just have to decide who to ship. Is that what you're saying? Well, I mean, you could you could write a political intrigue uh, thing for your class and uh, put different characters in there as uh, placeholders. I can't. We're in the judicial branch. <laughs> I mean, I can write a fanfic in between RBG and Antonin Scalia, but I can't do that. <laughs> No, they apparently got along pretty well. Yeah, that's true. You, can. you just replace those two with Rookie and Panala. You see. Uh, hey. So, like... Or Sarah Boss Rookie, right? and whoever else you ship. Who was Sarah Boss? Was it Erling? Was it a Medrin? It was clearly Raja. Yes. I mean, there was Who a was... hippo involved at some point, too. Oh, Not rhino. God. It was a rhino. Was it 4X? Who was? Wait, a rhino? Was yeah, yeah, he turned into a rhino in the hot spring. Oh, that's right. No, I forgot about that. No, it wasn't okay, a rhino. Is... It was. Uh... What was it? No, I think it was a rhino. But was I'll that... see you next week. I would have so... Rachel really go this for a while now. Yes. I know. Is it? Yeah, you, you are you? Are I'll, you? I'll be hearing me? about it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you for real right now? Like she Of course. She... It was rookie, right? Everyone like, loves died... someone eventually. It was rookie. That's what you You cause... guys only knew her for like a week. Yeah, so was it her old handler? Was it just Gary? <laughs> Joking. Iskari, Iskari wanted to kill her like right away. So. Of course, she's kind of a step on me, uh, step on me, Iskari. That's what I'm hearing. Mm. I mean, it would make sense that it's Rookie, right? Because Rookie saved Sarah Boss. When Sarah Boss died that second time, she's like Boss of Rod, whatever the hell it's called. Like, it was, there was some very sexual tension there. Panala's son. And then it, the kidnapping thing, like, it's rookie, right? It was more for revenge. Like, oh my god. Yeah. Oh, the kidnapping? Definitely for revenge. So she likes rookie, right? <laughs> <laughs> Will we find out next no. week? No, no, I don't I don't think it was rookie. Why don't we just stick with getting Rookie back? Yes. And getting, and getting our ship. And starting confessionals. Oh, that would be the perfect question for the confessional. And, <laughs> Did Sarah and, and the uh and the, the wrestling federation started. <laughs> I have no idea what the hell I'm gonna do with that wrestling federation. We just have a session where it's just wrestling. Well, yeah, yeah, we're definitely gonna have to do that, but gotta build it up. Gotta have an opponent. Instead of Iskari chopping people's heads off, she's gonna be pile driving them. She's gonna be breaking their goddamn backs like Bane. You know, there's some people that pay extra for that. 
It's a fetish. I mean, I'm sorry. Ascari? Phew. Anyway, I have <laughs> a ton of homework <laughs> that I need that. to grade and well, yeah. a slide that I need to do. Well, and it also, was I... cool to have you be there for the last little bit. Mm hmm. Because I really oh, wish you would have been here for the last two sessions. No, I, I know. <laughs> so and much Karen material just teed up and ready to go. Mm -hmm. but no. Oh, by the way, guys, great, fantastic news. My Derby League is probably 90% going to dissolve. That's good news. That's good news. Bad news is I had a talk with my supervisor and now I need to hand in like 40 lesson plans for the rest of the year. And it's not like, you know, my mental health has been deteriorating and I didn't tell him. And yeah, everything's great. Everything's turning up, Rachel. You got like what, like a month and a half before the end of the year? Mm hmm. That's not a lot of time. 40 lesson plans into a month and a half? I think it's eight weeks before they graduate. Wait, it's only six weeks for us. I'm going to be fine. So a month and anyway. a half. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you were right the first time. Yay. I also got my cap. I also got my robes and I got my hood. So Mas I don't. Master's have degree. Here we come. I know I don't know how to put on my hood, but I'm I'm excited. I'm I'm more excited than uh than my bachelor's degree. Well, it was harder. Yeah. So. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much, Nick. I'm so sorry I dropped in like ten minutes. It was fun.